Hello everyone. We're Banak. Welcome back to the Banak Challenge in the Grand Combination mod for Victoria 2 in single player. Hello. Welcome Banak everyone. Great to be here. We are back playing this challenge and I'm looking forward to it. It's been very fun so far. Before the stream started, we did get a very kind super chat from Marinara Sauce of $13. Thank you for that. And hello to everyone in chat. How many different pops does Banat accept? Great question! Check the thumbnail, the description, and everything. Uh, hello Taco Man there, it's been going good. We've got great streams and great videos coming out, so... Everything's fine on the channel here. Lately, we've had... Uh, had Bavaria part 28, or was it 29? Yeah, 28 coming out on Saturday. Hope everyone enjoyed that one. And for the past couple of weeks, we've been playing this Banat Challenge, which, by the way, some of you might remember, it started out as a Brazil playthrough. I was playing Brazil in TGC, exploring their new rework, and the... That playthrough was mixed because I played it too well. I actually bypassed all of the interesting content, which is if you fall apart and get balkanized into lots of different little Brazils. Played it too well. So, but one of the things was in the first session of that, 1851, I panned over to Europe around the time of the Crimean War, I think, and lo and behold, we saw that this little nation called Banat had been released from the AI Austria. And I looked at it, and I saw it's accepted pops, and I took a save, and I said to everyone, I'm coming back to play this. And that's what I'm doing now. And frankly, although the Brazil country was very interesting, I enjoyed that little playthrough, this Banat playthrough is probably more interesting, you know, it's gotten more views. Overall, and it's interesting, you know, the, I think my best single player content, I actually, I must say, is probably these kinds of accepted pop challenges. These are the best single player things, the challenges. They make it interesting, you know, because single player is single player, so you need to look for some interesting challenges to do. So we've got some more generous super chats coming in. There they are for uh, VOD viewers. Uh, thank you, Taco Man, for the $9.99. Bavaria series still going strong. Always surprised to see it as more to give. Yeah, I know it's it's really going on, and uh, it's uh, not only is it sort of going on, and we're getting more and more episodes, and it's got a long amount of episodes and sessions, but the stuff that's happening is genuinely exciting and interesting. It's not dragging on for the sake of it. It really isn't. If I felt like the content this late in the Bavaria series wasn't good or as interesting, I would have ended it already. But I look ahead. I edit the future stuff and I say, yeah, this is great. This is really funny. This is really exciting. This is a great twist. As we saw with part 28 and everything that happened there. Heartbreaking war. The Curlin challenge. Yeah, that was good. That was one of the best single player map painting challenges. That one was challenging. It had ups and downs and everything. And Willis, thank you very much for the £4.99. Thanks for the great content. Well, I appreciate the, the support. The support keeps me going and of course also you know you have channel memberships gift them join the channel membership and you get your emotes in chat will big sneed will make a comeback who knows you think i'm going to spoil things ahead you have to just wait and see and stay tuned for the series to find out what happens bavaria series is still going strong always surprised you to see it has more to give thanks for good content as always so here we go into Banat. Hey, hey, Spoogie. Thanks for the great content. One of the things we're going to have to do here as we get into the game and as we get through our customary long intro, I'm going to stop and take stock of the country and we really start to plan out our next move. Because we've gotten to the point where we're pretty strong. 3.71 million pops. Most of them accepted. Romanians and Hungarians mostly, but there's lots of Germans around here as well because of the the Austrian Empire and all that. So we're going to take stock and plan our next move. Thank you Marcus for saying that. 
and not golden as well. Um, thank you, Lawrence, for the five gifted memberships. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. I think we're all out of sync, aren't we? Pull or does pulls not exist? I pull for my next move. No, what I'm going to do when I get in the game is just plan it out myself and talk you through it and ask chat, see what you say. I think we're all out of sync, aren't we? We're not doing a poll. This is not a democracy. Yeah, still no coastline as well. It's fair. You see, let's just go into the game right sync, now, okay? Let's just go in. I'm not going to unpause yet. I think we're all out of sync, aren't we? The coastline, you see, is very difficult because A, the, well, our two easiest accesses to the coastline are A, the Russian Empire, and B, the Ottoman Empire. The Ottoman Empire used to be allied to the United Kingdom. Uh, now it's allied to Germany, who's my ally, which is very awkward. But either way, even if they didn't have any allies, they have 94 brigades with really good miltech. Uh... So they're really strong anyway, the Ottomans, at this point. Crimean War didn't go far enough, you know. And then obviously Russia's Russia. Now, it's actually technically possible. We did actually go to war with Russia in the past session. We did go to war with Russia. Russians have 40 brigades? What are you, what are you worried about? Um, we did go to war with them because they intervened on Austria because they're actually friendly with Austria. And they're probably gonna, they're probably going to do that again. But I can use Germany on Russia, which makes them possible to curtail. And I, I technically could have taken Bessarabia in the previous episode. But why wouldn't I take it, ladies and gentlemen? Because it's a Russian core. There's no way to get rid of that core by some kind of liberate country means. We tried that. That means that the Russian Empire will look at my country, look at my brigade count, and declare war on me for this core every five years off truce. I don't want to have to put up with that just for Bessarabia, which, don't get me wrong, it's a good region and it has loads of Romanians, my accepted pops, but no, we don't need to put up with that. There may come a time when we attack Italy or something, or the Ottomans take a core of them that they'll be attacking every five years. You know, Russia as well, or oh, that'll be too much. So that's why not to go after Russia. You know, the only way to go after Russia would be to completely prevent them ever coming back and attacking me, but there's nothing you can do to them that would allow for that. Um, there's nothing that would cripple them enough. They'll always do it. You can release Ukraine, but Ukraine has a core on Bessarabia, which is the land I want, which compl complicates things. Leave Bessarabia as puppet. But why? I would, the reason to take Bessarabia is so that I own a coastline. Right? See, it just it just doesn't make sense. So we're going to have to... We're not going for Russia at all. Anything we do against Russia is just defending against them if they intervene on something, like Austria again. So that's that, okay? Now we got 5% soldiers there, so let's uh, tinker these around a little bit, be optimal here. Get our 5% soldier pops up. This country... We suffer a lot from literacy issues in this country because we start out with a couple of states. We can improve them, but as we expand into this Balkan territory, we expand into more and more low literacy land that the AI didn't manage well. So we're never going to have very good literacy here, really, ever. It's not going to happen. We just have to make the best of what we have and roll with it. Can you deck liberate Balkans on Osmani there? Is there some? There isn't some kind of special cast belly for it, but we can. I mean, I'd love to attack the Ottomans. I'd love to release more Balkan countries and expand my little Serbian puppet. But as I say, they're just too strong for me right now. And the the genuine target is still Austria. My truce with them expires again next year, so I, we're just going to have to straight up attack Austria again, and it's. That's a really good thing, you know, it's more accepted pop, straight up good land for me to take. Hope everyone is doing well. It seems Austria is the only way forward. You could take Bessarabia, then puppet another state. Lawrence, I just went over all that for, as, as for the Bessarabia part, but thank you so much for the six months of membership. Appreciate it, friend. Uh, you got, say, Ukraine? Well, I mean, that's the biggest releasable little cripple Russia, but still... 
they could probably just re-annex them, you know, it's just, I don't know. And it's not worth doing all that to Russia just for Bessarabia, right? We need to expand. We've got, remember, look at the battle plan. This is all the land that I accept. This is all my potential expansion. Now, I'm also thinking here, I'm also thinking, after we cripple Ru uh, Austria a little bit more, we're going to be getting closer to Italy. And Italy could be our next target. Now, Italy is good because they don't have any allies, actually. And I can bring in Germany against them. So I think Italy is pretty good. Unfortunately, they don't have any... There's no cores to release shit, so... Italy is going to be like a long-term thing because they'll probably keep redecking war on me every... You know, like I say, the AI will deck war on me off of truce every five years. Although the, my alliance with Germany and the fact that my Germans feeling might dissuade them from that. I don't know. Otherwise, though, we even have a nice industry as Banat so far. I'm not managing the industry completely optimally, I, you know, especially since we're in the German sphere anyway. We wouldn't really need to. We're kind of fine. How are you going to destabilize Germany later? Though? Well, fuck, I don't know. It's That's a difficult thing. The difficult thing is, you know, how to ever beat this gross Deutschland if we ever do it, right? It's, it might end up being a case of we never actually go against Germany simply because it's not possible. Uh, they've been my ally and in taking down Austria-Hungary, they've also gotten Bohemia out of it. Uh, so, I don't know if I could ever go against them. Theoretically, you could just go around the Italy straight through Switzerland. Switzerland is a German sphere as well, so... Plus, I think they have a neutrality modifier that fucks things. So, anyway, remember, this is the Grand comb Combination mod. I've got the Localization Endonymic submod enabled, which means every country's name is in its own language. I'm personally a, a big fan of that. I love the LARP, I love the languages. And if you want to check out the mod, of course, it is linked in the, in the description. Also... Uh, there was a poll uh, on the TGC Discord, I noticed. Worm is going to try and make some changes to the endonymic naming mod. Who knows, maybe it's something to do with me playing it that he's uh, noticed and wants to update it. Uh, how would you pronounce their names, though? Fürstentumbana, République Française, Regno d'Italia, Regno d'Espagne, you know, Deutsches Kaiserreich. It's not difficult. You know, Rassiskaya uh, Respublika, because they're actually a republic now for some reason. Uh, da Ching, whoa. I don't know the tones, I'm joking. Could have been right. I, I don't know that one. Does AI still spam forts as it does in vanilla? In TGC? Well. Uh, maybe not up to a very high level, but yeah. Yeah. Not only do you have forts in TGC, you've got banks and universities, remember. And my capitalists have actually built them up. You violate Swiss neutrality that other AIs will claim their cores on Swiss. This is another mod which should be the same thing. Okay. What accepted pops do you have? Nice one. Nice try, Zenmos. Um, uh, so, Worm is putting out a, a, a poll to see if we're updating the endonymic naming thing. And the interesting thing is the adjectives. So, the adjectives of countries are also localized. Now, I need to find an example of that. Here's an example of that, actually. Both of these regions here. So the, the adjective for the country. So for example, British, French, German, Belgian, Luxembourg, for example. But th those are put in the languages as well. But it's not accurate, as Worm pointed out in his poll. Because in lots of languages, including French, including would, what would apply to Belgium. Royaume de Belgique. Is that the adjective actually comes after the name or the noun in lots of languages, including French here. So it's wrong to do it this way. It's Belge Luxembourg is wrong. It should actually be uh, Luxembourg Belge. So pe he's proposing to just get rid of the adjective element of the entire submod, or to just leave it as it is and not give a fuck. And I think people, let me just check what the votes are. Let's just check what the votes are on that. 
So people are massively voting in favour of removing adjectives completely from the endonymic localization submod. Uh, 142 votes for remove adjectives and 48 votes for just ignore the problem. So, and I'm not sure about the point of putting a, a whole poll out for the endonymic submod because, I don't know, I don't feel like that many people use this submod. Uh, so why does everyone get a vote on it? It's like giving the whole world a vote on the American elections. Which is a terrible fucking, uh, you know, situation to compare it to. They, they don't, they're not very good, you know, analogies, but... Um, the point is, do all those people who are voting for this actually care or play this submod? I don't know. Because I'm torn on the matter, right? I'm torn on the matter. I don't know if I want to just get rid of the adjectives. Even if it's in the wrong place, I still like it. I like to see the adjective. Because it's something different as well. Do we have an example of one in German? Uh, German fucking adjective I think it, they've got all the regions no there you go Deutsch Schlesen I think that's accurate unless it's supposed to have a like a bit of diacrit like Deutsches or Deutsche I don't know uh, so why the fuck was Köln spelt with a C what Oh, by the way, by the way, by the way, the, the endonymic localization submod doesn't apply to provinces. Provinces are actually... Oh, yeah, look at that. It's pronounced... It's got a C. Doesn't it have... Does it have a C or a... It does have a K in real life in German. There might be one in Iran because of the vassals. Can you check that one? Well, I, maybe, but... Um, no. No. Now they haven't localized the Persian adjective, because who the fuck knows what that is, right? I don't know anything about the uh, Farsi language. Who who knows? What would this actually be in Persian? Farsi. It's nice seeing Vic Two still going strong. But what are your guys' opinion on Vic Three? Should I get it or not? Nah? Well, you're coming here to ask that. Just bear in mind that we are very opinionated on Victoria Three. Generally negative. I would not recommend it. I know I'm Iranian, lol. Well, then tell us, my friend. I'd love to know. But um, I don't want to ignore your question. I, I mean, I don't mean to ignore your question, but I genuinely don't want to bother talking about Victoria 3 on the stream at all. Loristan e Irani would be the adjective. Ah. So, well, the point is, that adjective comes after the uh, the name. So I mean, as as even with the e and the dashes, that would be even more difficult to mod in. You can't do it. You can't do it properly. That's why he's fixing this or getting rid of the thingy. Kandahari, Kandahar. Well, just wonder if you think Vic Three is better or worse after the Sphere of Influence DLC. Jarman is asking. Well, I don't even I can't even answer that because I don't know or particularly care. So I couldn't even answer that question if I wanted to talk about Victoria 3 on the stream, which I don't. Is the graphics different? Yeah, TGC comes with its own unique map and map modding. There's actually lots of different submods in TGC for maps. You can have a Hoi 3 inspired looking graphics map if you want as well as a submod for that. Anyway, so our next move is just to declare on Austria again. Simple as, if Russia intervenes, I'll call Germany in. Germany is truced until 1880. Russia is truced until 1880. I don't think when you're intervening as a great power on the side of a friendly, you can bypass a truce. So I don't think we have to worry. How do you feel about the greatest Vic game, Victoria 1? Well, the thing about Victoria 1 is that it's not really a simulation, actually. Or from what I've heard about it. Pops don't really simulate and grow and do things on their own. You actually have to directly manage them a lot more. 
And then in Victoria 2, they came along and added a real dynamic simulation and they fucking nailed it. Although it's janky and has loads of flaws, but they somehow pulled it off. So let's speed through it. Yeah, but for Victoria 1, I've never played it, but at some point I probably will check it out for a bit of content and for something different. Social spending right down the poorest concern. Listen, that's because I don't have any social reforms. There's nothing I can spend on the social spending. It's just, it's just not applicable. Um, and I'd love to get some social reforms actually, where we've been having some political gameplay throughout this. Let's hold an election and try and get some more social reforms. Militancy up and all that. Let's actually do that. Let's get the standing army on the Austrio Austrio Hungarian border. Um, so on account of having service by requirement reform, we actually have a very fat mobilization pool as this country. We have a very, very big mobilization. 86. That's dis disproportionately big, I think. Economy's pretty good. Economy's pretty good for being in a sphere, the German sphere. If you ever get a course, you can join a war against China, maybe get treaty port. True. We could always do that, but we have to get a coast. You know, maybe in this war, maybe this is the time. Maybe this is the time we gun for the Austrian coast and start bordering Italy as well. What regions would I have to take? I'd have to take Horvat. I have to take Croatia, and I'd have to take Lika. Now, these aren't good regions in terms of my accepted pops quest. Croatia isn't really great, but there are some upper Germans in it, and a bit of Hungarians as well here and there, so there's some of my accepted pops. Uh, so I guess it's kind of worth it. This one here, soldiers in Bucharest. This is a side quest. Yeah, the side, the coastline side quest. Spud, what are your thoughts on Age of History 2? I've never played it. I know there's a sequel coming out and I've paid a little bit of attention to the development of the sequel, but I don't know. I cannot really give you my thoughts because I don't have any. I don't think. Are these upper Germans like the base game South Germans? Yes. It's a little bit weird because uh, lower Germans are actually the northern Germans. The South Germans are the upper Germans. And that's because of the historical way that Germans kind of considered themselves. Hoch, Deutsch, upper German literally means, you know, higher because they're higher up in the mountains. And the lower Germans are lower down in the plains. So that's how they came up with that. Hare Krishna coming in with the one Canadian dollar. Thank you very much for that. I'm very put off by the fact that that super chat is blue. You know that Walter White quote? Why are you blue? I don't think, I don't think I've ever seen a blue super chat. Just popping in, Ethan. I've not been following RC Economy and TGC mods. I saw new goods and got overwhelmed. Well, there aren't really any there there's barely any new goods in TGC. Some of them are kind of just renamed. Don't be don't be put off by that. They're not really different. It's PDM that you have to worry about, not this. Um tax, I think we just get military tax up. The economy's I've noticed that the economy is overall pretty good in TGC. I think it's quite fair. I've made money and not made money at different times, depending on how I'm playing and stuff. I think it works well. You, maybe you've noticed me playing some of my previous streams, uh, DoD FanFork. That incorporates a bit of PDM, which is uh, quite a few different factories. I don't know. Maybe that's the confusion. 
Right, let's go back and get clergymen up further in a, a higher pot state. Uh, rubber goods industry. Well, there you go. There's some new shit. Speaking of speaking of that. Uh, truce with Austria is up in... Uh, actually, it should, is it not already up? Yeah, it's already up. I always forget that. Uh, let's just go acquire state. Come back exclusive blue. Oh, nice. How decent is Ruthenia's army right now? Well, as you can see, they've got two stacks. And then they can mobilize something. So I'm pretty happy with that. Serbia has one stack and they can also mobilize. And then I can, I can command their units. Ah, fuck. Here's the bullshit. Here's the bullshit. Oh, immediately it's happening. Well, oh my god, fuck this. Okay, right. When I released Ruthenia, it was a puppet of mine, but no, no one's fear. And then Russia sphered it. We had a war with Russia in the last session. Then they tried to release it from my puppet status. Um... And they did not, they did not achieve it last time, but I got a Cassus Belly on Russia. Uh, so, uh, I just have to repuppet this. Fucking brilliant stuff. Really, really good. Okay, let's go and do that, I suppose. Very tiresome. Let's mobilize anyway for Austria. Pay troops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep, keep backseating. Keep backseating. And they're attacking me, which is perfect. Into a mountain with three defense. There goes their army. Yep, that great army that I was just looking at. How nice it was. We got to get through the mountain passes here. Let's follow up on that. Fuck it. Oh, they got a reinforced tick or something. Yeah. I'll probably I'll probably pull out of that battle soon. Uh Brady, thank you very much for the two point seven nine Canadian dollars. Appreciate it. That's not a battle that I want to fight in, so let's get out. Glory to Banatase. What happened with Galicia? You just got here? Ah, well, someone in chat explains. This is Canada Day? Well, happy Canada Day to all the Canadians. Is that why I'm getting so many Canadian dollars flowing in? The capital city is right here, so maybe... Maybe that'll help us get it nice and quickly. I don't know. Oh, they attacked with... Uh, okay. Okay. We just have to get this shit over with. This silly war over with. Happy Canada Day to all the Canadians, though. Have a great day. Whatever you do during this day. Normally. Did it say Austria had declared on Ruthenia? Oh my god, they have. This is so fucking stupid and annoying. I think they're, they're just trying to take a core. I need to carpet seizure or something but I don't have that level of micro in single player so we go here you get into the capital it's 
17th of August, 16th. Do I arrive here first? Oh god, wait, wait, wait. Let's micro a speed and defense general. Defense plus one, speed plus 40. Yes, you'll get there first. Yeah, nice. Right. I'll go and occupy that. Yeah, the, the, at least the Ruthenian army is going over to Austria a little bit. Wonder if it'll drag into the war once you piece you. I have no idea. It might. You might be onto something there. Am I sieging this? No, fucking Austria it is. Ugh. Don't worry chat, we're going to get through this, we're going to deal with it, it's absolutely fine, it's absolutely fine. Free defence, look, we're going to smoke their army in bust in, no wait they're not moving there, the movement is different, they are not moving to attack me actually. They're actually going there to attack that army, so I'll, def I'll defend that. I don't think Austria gets its core here. I don't see how they would. I don't want to kill the Ruthenian army anymore, though. They're mine. Maybe when I siege this province, that's enough. Okay, right. Come on, accept. No? I need that province first. And the Austrians might get away with a piece, as some people in chat are saying. Bit of battle war score. No Austria, you don't get access. Come on, you've lost the war. Just accept it. Hmm, is Austria mobilized for this? No. Wait, what's this? Austria is in the Ottoman sphere. Ah. Austria is in the Ottoman sphere. Russia is also friendly. How did the how did the Ottomans get them in the sphere instantly out of nowhere? The fuck? Now this could in, this initially seems like a bad thing, right? But when I bring the Germans in, I can kill the Ottomans now as well. They're still allied, but when I call when I call Germany against Austria, they're not really going to take the Ottomans in, into consideration, are they? Unless they're blocked from a, actually joining that war, we'll see. We'll just have to see what the fuck happens. It's all getting a bit weird now. It's all getting a little bit weird now. Can I piece this shit out? Right, can I? When this is occupied, we will be fully sieged. The AI has the advantage if Austria gets to fucking peace from this. Uh, first in November, you know. No, no, no. No, I mean... I'm not dealing with this fucking bullshit. You're becoming a puppet. And they're still at war. Now they've peaced, okay? Uh, Russia is opposed, so I've got some time. Because hey, maybe they will just probably get back up again. Right, we did that. It's over. We won. Okay? Austria white peace, so I get to have the war on Austria on my own terms. Debug always Diplo was used. Uh, I will accept that. It was indeed. They're my ally now again. Everything is cool with them, right? We just had some bad times, but we're over it. Everyone's over it. Okay? Everyone is fine. Soldiers. Soldiers, please. We're Banak. We're Banak Obama here. We are so back.
Now we have to see what happens with the Ottomans being allied and sphered with Austria. Hmm, I don't, I don't know. I don't like it. I don't really like it. It's ominous. Can you annex puppets in this? No. I didn't have to release this country as a puppet. This was completely optional, but I just wanted to make better use of the, uh, the pops. The Ukrainian pops. This country would be a lot better if it accepted Polish as well, but I suppose it's actually a little bit disappointing that it doesn't. It's not actually making best use of all the pops. It's only using the Ukrainians. It's not really a fully efficient, right? Because it's... Uh... Is there a meme puppet formables in this? Yeah, I mean, if I think you can you can create Yugoslavia in this just like you can in many other mods, I think. Um, ah, fuck it, let's get that. Let's spend three years getting a research points tech, which then does not prove efficient because all the researchers would have, you know, the three years that I spend researching this could have been used researching other things. But whatever, I'll just get it. Justification is done in less than two months. So I wonder why, when I'm in the German sphere of influence, I'm not actually getting any military goods, basically. No canned food, no soap, no alloys, no pharmaceuticals. Speaking of, actually, there are loads of random fucking stupid goods added to this mod, actually. What are your goals for this war? Go to the coastline, get some more accepted pops? Let's just defund the army. Do I make money when defunded? Not really, no. Looks like the economy is still absolutely terrible no matter what you do. Yeah, I mean, the, the loans, the debt was getting a bit too high. Let's Maybe I should pay that back before we go to war. If Otto intervenes, would it be worth taking anything from them? Well, I could just get my coastline from them and take better land off of Austria-Hungary. So, any reason why I'm mobilized? Because I'm about to go to war with Austria, yeah? At least soon, when I've you know when I fix the economy for a little while, uh, I do have a hundred debt to pay, hundred k debt. Hmm. Maybe I just have to double down and go in anyway. Maybe that's the only option here. Oh, we're getting oil. Maybe that'll turn the economy around. <laughs> maybe we'll, maybe that will. We're starting to get some Romanian oil. Let's get our three attack. Austria has gone to war with Italy again. What does this mean? Turkey joined. So there's another core that Italy has. Now, where the fuck is this core that Italy's going for? That apparently... Fucking... Litorale. Oh, it's Austria actually decking on Italy. Okay. They're going back to Istria. So, Austria-Hungary has just decked on Italy. What does this mean? What does this mean for us? What does this mean for us? What does this mean? This probably makes things a lot easier. Now, let's just see, right? If I were to deck for, say... Best region, probably just a straight up massive fat Hungarian region, Dunutu, right? 
doing the tool. 57 fucking war score, brilliant. Uh, Germany, what are they thinking? Where are they? The Deutsche Kaiserreich will join. And then we have to deal with war score bullshit again, don't we? With Germany being in, we have to do all that. Because uh, they'll be the war leader and they'll add shit. We have to deal with that. But we've managed to deal with it so far. Wouldn't Bosnia be coastal? Well, uh, how do you tell? This could be coastal. It doesn't have a port. Uh, is there a way of telling if it's technically coastal? Or not? How do you know? Just because it looks like it is. Trinikia has a course, that bit too. Well, I mean, I can see it. I can see it physically, but in the game, files and all that shit, you know? Do I really want to take that risk? Look, Bosnia doesn't have any of my accepted pops anyway. Dobruja actually does have some Romanians in it. Dobruja is just better for my country. It's got coal as well. Maybe I'd like to give Bosnia to Serbia. How about that? Yeah, yeah, Bjorts, exactly. Do we have any Serbian, Bosnian, or even Croatian? Anyone? Any nationalists in the chat? Any Balkan LARPers? What do you think? The Ottomans is mobilised. I wonder what their mobilisation is, because I know their standing army was pretty big, but... The mobilization might not be that big. I'd rather fund up and then shadow fund. This should get my organization up. Although, when I actually shadow fund, I don't know if my org will go up. We'll see. We'll see. Best to know if Bosnia is worth it. Check how many Serbian accepted pops there are. Quite a few. There's a, a lot of Serbians. This Bosnia, by the way, is actually split into different regions, technically. Actually, quite a few fucking different regions. So there's even more reasons not to take it, because I'd actually it's actually two regions disconnected from me to the actual coastline there in Bosnia. There are actually at least three regions. All the more reason to not take that. Oh, cores. Manual cores coming in on uh, Bucharest. Manual cores, very good, very important. So Austria's losing, it seems. Well, it's hard to tell. I think when the Ottomans get there, it might turn on that war. I was trying to get reforms though. Uh, do we have any rebels coming up? Yes. Quite a lot of rebels, including Romanian rebels. We have rebel threats coming. Uh, and they're Romanian, so quite far away from where my army actually is now. Now I'm going to put the... Uh... Oh, I'm not... Am I... Uh... Yeah, I'm not allowed to actually change my ruling party anymore which makes it harder to get militancy or reforms, but it's going up naturally. So when it hits six militancy, I think we could probably pass a reform. Return Montenegrin cores. True. More oil coming in. The Romanian oil is here. Here we go. Surely this means money. Right, I don't know if this gas is barely lasts that long. Are we ready to just do this? 
I think it's time to just go in anyway. On Shadow Fund. Our organization's high enough. So, think this through. What do I actually want to take? I was going to take Duna Tool, but that's really high war score. Are there any other options? We could take Southern S Slovakia. <laughs> no, it's kind of shit. Actually, the Duna Tool region is probably the most viable thing to go for to start with. There's a chance that we can separate piece Austria-Hungary out and then kill the Ottomans so we can get separate war scores on them. Bob the Builder, your comments are really unfunny and shit. I mean, I'm looking at you in chat there. Like, you're really annoying, actually. Does anyone else in chat agree? I mean, look at him. Anyway, um, so... Is having a coastline not worth more without accept unaccepted pops? Yeah. It, it, the coastline is a very worthwhile thing in its own. In its own right, definitely. Yeah. But the Debrugia is the best one because it also has accepted pops, right? And Bosnia is kind of shite. And I don't want it. And I'd give it to Serbia. So that's the plan. Right. Okay, I'm just taking Dunatul. Uh, however much war score it costs, I don't care. So who are, who's accepting? Mount Athos and Sweden will not accept. Didn't even know I was allied to Sweden. But my puppets, uh, even Montenegro's joining and Germany. Just check that again. Germany will join. It's confirmed. Okay, we do that. That's our war for today. And then we just sort of move in and occupy them a bit. Their army is already busy somewhere else, so it's going to be pretty simple. see what happens with all the joining as we predicted and the Ottomans has joined Germany has joined me that has this is very good right this has broken the German alliance with the Ottomans now the Ottomans is allied to just Spain and Austria okay that's good these are my anti-Romanian rebel forces because it looked like there were some big Romanian See, that's, uh, you, you get to see a good view of the different uh, adjectives, Romanesque here and Deutsch. But the Romanesque were actually, again, it's falling for the accident, the, uh, it's falling for the adjective meme where it should actually come after the noun, but that's why Worm is going to abolish adjectives. I mean, I don't know who gave him authority over grammar, but he's abolishing adjectives out of every language. I'm going to play some Magic the Gathering and enjoy the rest of my piece. Well, thank you for stopping by and enjoy your Magic the Gathering. What are people really talking about in the chat there? We are t staring at a video of a Scottish man fiddling around with pixel horses in the fake country. Autism is, autism is no excuse. This shit's great. This is good stuff. No matter how you look at it. This is good. I think we should probably send most of the army south towards the Ottomans. If anything's going to happen, it'll happen down there. Julius Trunk. Fucking brilliant name. Let's command the Serbians. What generals have they got? They've got a 3-3. You don't want to put both your stacks in the same province there, Serbia. Let me sort that for you. It would be very nice to connect my border to Germany in this war, somehow. I wonder what they will add, if anything. Uh, this region is getting closer. This is uh, Hungarian and Germany. It's West Ungarn. I think I'd be able to add when I occupy Austria a little bit. Four goals. Oh shit! Oh shit. Battles. When I ended up attacking them out of... What? I, I, this is the sort of shit that's so annoying, right? I was just moving there to occupy. Suddenly 50,000 Ottomans are waiting for me in the province. And I don't even know. There was no, there was no fucking pop-up. You know? Annoying. And they get wiped. What the fuck? You know? What the fuck?
Now I'm defensive. Now hold on a minute. Where's my three defense? Because the Ottomans have a lot better tech than me. That's one of the problems. Do I have my three defense possible to get on here, or is he too busy? Hmm. Can I add? No, of course. I can never, ever, 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 ever add war goals, ever. Oh, look at this as well. Oh, nine roll and a three attack. That's bullshit. Don't really like fighting the AI, do I? Um, at least you can pause. So let's bring over Serbian 3-3 general. That's probably the best thing we can do. Volter von Württemberg. Beautiful name. You know what? Instead of fixing the endonymic adjectives, they should really fix the general stats markers because they're all wrong all the time. Hello, Stalker. Have we considered the possibility of releasing liberating anything from autos? Yeah. It would be nice to open up some Balkan territory, yes. It's a pretty good idea. It's just that I'm not the war leader, and, and Germany is, so that makes it very difficult to ever do anything. Look, I can't even add war goals in Austria despite occupying loads of their country. See? It's just... And, uh, fucking Germany has added Marin. Germany added uh, Moravia. See? Look at this. It's annoying. Annoying shit. Oh! I absolutely detest how just clicking a battle unpauses the game. So... These Ottomans are moving to Belograd and a little bit to Serkehoi. So there's a bit of a threat of them coming in. Giga Ottomans here. At least I won that battle. A bit of positive news. Clicking on a battle. Oh look, they attacked that. Right, the rest of the Serbian army will have to go in. Okay, we won the battle. Right. Okay, okay, okay. Let's deal with this shit. Now, who's the war leader again? I need to look at this. So Austria is actually not the war leader, which means Germany may separate peace out with them. If Germany separate pieces out with Austria-Hungary for their war goal and not mine, I will undo that. Uh, who saves... Looks like Serbia got completely destroyed and wrecked in this battle down to zero org somehow, don't know how. I need to move back. Oh, Serbia decided to retreat there instead, but okay, I respect their decision. Fucking uh move. Uh, what are these Serbians doing? I don't know. I am commanding them, but I may have commanded them to their death. I look at terrain, I see mountains, and then I think, okay, that'll be fine. But no, you just lose in like three days anyway. Could be the tech difference. Bello Fürstentum has allied me, Liechtenstein. I don't want the whole war to be pieced out by Germany. I only want Austria separate pieced, if anything. So I will be taking a save, just in case something bullshit happens and the war gets pieced out from under me. Right, the Ottomans have attacked me in a mountain. Surely that means I'd win that battle. No, it doesn't. Mountains don't really mean much in this mod.
Okay, nice. That's a German siege, not mine, oh well. Right, was that the whole war? Yeah, now what happened? Okay. So it seems like Germany peaced out for only their war goal. Wow. Alright then. I'm going to go and have to fucking change everything. Wow, brilliant. So let's see. That that happened within September. So I'm going to go in, hit Banat. Alright, Germany. You're going to separate piece Austria-Hungary out. Can you? No. Right. I need to add my war goal on the Ottomans first. They're not able to separate piece. Am I allowed to add war goals? No. So I will allow myself. Why wouldn't I be able to state what I want out of the war that we're going to win? Right. De Bruja. Okay. Now, Germany, can you please separately piece out Austria-Hungary for, let's see, oh, how about just my thing? Well, they won't accept. Um, okay, let's go here. Let's accept. Let's keep fighting the war. However, quickly, another battle's happening here. Now, I do need to reload in case the AI gets glitched and bugged out. So I'm going to save and reload. This is the only way to play the game. I mean, if I, if I wasn't doing stuff like this, we wouldn't really be able to do a single thing ever. So it's either this or nothing. Now let's continue fighting the Ottomans until Germany prematurely pieces that out for war goals that are not what I want. Yeah. Do you have Hungarian accepted? Maybe, I do. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what my accepted pops are in this country. I don't know. Maybe the basic entire premise of this playthrough is written somewhere. Like, you know, hmm, I don't know. This uh, this new region is actually my most populous state, Hungarians and Upper Germans, and the literacy is not too bad. Now, let's uh, let's develop it a little bit though. You forgot the North Italian. Is that not actually written in the description? I'll go and add it then. No, it's there. It's fucking there. So, someone's being an idiot, but it's not me. Not this time. How many debugs do I have on right now? Let's turn off always add war goal. Now I'll never, ever, ever be able to add war goals. Because the war is never going well enough. Did the AI put engineers in their army or something? Because they siege things down a lot faster than I can. Oh, look at that. The Germans arrived first to occupy. Wait, maybe I have to check at some point, but maybe it's engineers or something because they, they always siege down about 10 times as fast as I can. I'm Culture Fonder. I like most of you. I like most of the people in chat. There's a couple of people in the chat today who aren't so good though.
We get to experience some of these uh, interesting Balkan province shapes now. TGC shapes. Oh, <laughs> fuck's sake. They gave me Dabruja, but I want more than that. Oh my god. Uh, isn't it? It's just kind of demoralizing to have to do this every war, you know? I got Dabruja, we got a coastline, but, you know. Let's revert back to the October autosave. Wow. Engaging gameplay. You are one of the good ones, MK Ultra Fonda. You are. So. Yeah, we got up to. See, I can't, I can't fucking add war goals. I will, I will debug always add. Now. Let's give Serbia their core. Right? Let's definitely do that. Let's definitely give Serbia the core. What do I need to do for that? Uh, I mean, a free people would probably do it. Kravalinja Serbia, is that the one? Yeah. They've got four re three regions, I mean, that they've got a core, I think. Is that three different regions that I could free people? So, yeah. Uh, Niche, Kosovo, Vilaya, oh Kosovo, and Yeni, Pazar, Samjagi. You can give them three regions. I, th I looked at that, right, and I thought, oh, that's not... You look at Serbia's cores in the Ottomans, it doesn't look like much. It's three regions, though. But that is basically just the equivalent of what is in vanilla, just southern Serbia. Uh, thank you, MK Ultra Fonder, though, for the three... Not three, the one ninety nine dollars Thank you. That's why you're my favourite char. Not not my favourite, but one of them. You just have to bribe me. It's that simple. Now, what would be cheaper? A lib what if I do a whole liberate country? 36 and 6. Yeah, it's actually cheaper to do that. Let's continue with that added. If Germany pieces out for that and Debruja, I'm fine with it. But if there's a little bit more time, I would like to do a little bit more. What is this thing, uh, Zen, in the chat that you're, you're trying to bait me with? What would that have been? I'm not going to say what your situation is, but if it's something interesting, then tell me about it. Real thing? Well then, what is it? Sea of Thieves? I've never played Sea of Thieves. I know what the game is, though. It looks, it looks fun, but I've never played it. Can you justify Puppet and Montenegro? Hmm. I'm always trying to bait Spug and it never works. Some people have gotten me. Ah, Montenegro's a Russian sphere. It's, uh, it's, yeah, you know, it's... They'll just break out. Russia will break them out again. Sea of Thieves terminated a YouTube channel for having gameplay of their game. Sounds terrible. But, you know, there's not very much context or information there, is there? You just said that. You just kind of said... I mean, why? I feel like copyright is a, something that games technically have over content creators, but they would never normally use it for any, unless there was some kind of exceptional circumstance. Because I use music from game soundtracks in a lot of my videos, but it's not copyright. No one copyright claims that. Let's add, let's fucking add engineers to the army. I just want to siege shit down faster. And the, as Bolton said earlier, the AI builds forts everywhere. Well, I'll never use Nintendo music and gameplay and stuff in any of my content. That's just not a good idea. They're the ones that take everything down. Now, uh, I probably can add something else. 
Germany might prematurely peace out though. No. I don't know how much war score what we have currently costs. Unless I tag to Germany. What if I were to... Bulgaria is going to have a core on my Dobruja land though. Hmm. Colony. No. Why? Why though? Otto's number 8, maybe they'll bump down after this war. They're probably going to drop out of great power status, yeah. Bulgaria is going to get buffs if you get HPM. This isn't HPM. You know, what I could do is take a Bulgarian region and then release them manually. That would probably release the regions, the provinces of Dobruja that they have cores on and not the rest. So I get to keep some of it. That's probably going to be the case. And if not, I can actually just change owner on some of that. That would be an interesting way to do it. So if I were to add... Elayet Rum Eli. Elayet Rum Eli. Rumelia. That's actually affordable, war score and infamy wise. How about that? That's good. That's a start. That's the start of Bulgaria. I'm answering that question just as you give the super chat, Emperor Malgus. Thank you very much for the $499. Albania might be further down the line. Greek might be further down the line. But look, these aren't really my priorities. Um, I'm glad to hear it, uh, Charlie. Um, these are the prior, not the priorities. The priorities are my actual accepted pops. I'm expanding this way. The Ottomans are a side quest. But while I'm on it, you know, I'll uh, do some nice map painting. Gigantic Ottoman attack! What the fuck? So I don't have debug always add war goal. And look, I can't add. Actually, it's because of the diplomat travel time. But I don't even think I can probably add war goals even now, to this day, without debugging it. I bet you. No, I can. Good. Good news, finally. I think Germany will probably peace out for these three things. I don't see why they wouldn't. If, you, if they don't, you know what I'll do. If Otto drops out of GP, might they be speared by Russia or Germany? Well, maybe. Look at this amazing attack, General. Stack wiping my mobiles. There's Joachim from Baden. That's the guy that I made a meme out of, Joe Biden. Except the general that I took a screenshot of for Joe Biden name sound alike was from uh, Bavaria series. We got the same name general in this. Hello again, Stalker. I believe I've already said hello to you this stream. Last minute, they will add liberate Iraq and Kuwait for 88 war goals and peace out for that. No, I don't see the German AI actually adding anything here. You know, they don't border it. I think we're finally safe on this. But maybe, you know, maybe I'm jinxing it. Okay, what did we get? We got everything, right? Yeah, we got all of Serbia liberated. I got Rum, Rumeli, and Dobruja. Yeah, Greg, it's fine. Thanks, Fourth Kaiser, for saying that. There we go. Glad to support good shit. You haven't supported it yet. Uh, so, yeah, this is great stuff. By all of Serbia, I mean all their cores. They might get an, a decision for new cores now. Who knows? Um, this The mod is in the description. I am a member. I, right, right, I, I know, I see, yes. Now... Schumann and Razgrad, majority Turkish. Have we got a Bulgarian nationalist in the chat? Barna, majority Bulgarian. Ruschuk. I don't get any decisions to rename this, do I? Do I have any decisions? No. Okay. 
But when I release Bulgaria, they'll release, they'll rename this. Uh, so yeah, Ladoge, are you going to release Bulgaria? I think I will. But I just want to test and make sure of something first, right? I want to make sure. You see, they only have cores on two provinces of Dobruja, and on the others, they don't have cores. So I'm hoping that they only get those two provinces when I release them right now. What are they going to get called? We're going to get some new localization, Sartsvo Bulgaria. Okay, this should just release that bit. Yeah, perfect. Perfect, and hopefully they will take a decision to rename this shit. Bulgarski Dobruja. That's not just any Dobruja, it's Bulgarski Dobruja. Right. Okay, army's coming back home. We definitely need to fix the economy for a long time because we are now. We didn't go that far in debt, to be honest. I've lost landlocked nation. That's nice. I didn't go that far in debt. I was around 100,000 in debt before the war. I paid it down a little bit to about. I don't know. 80k in debt. And then. I went to war. We kind of recovered the economy. A reform situation, nothing has happened though. We do have a lot of potential rebels coming up. So let's be very careful. Oh, and the Italian Austro Hungarian War is still going on in the meantime. That's nice. Bulgaria's got no cores on me. They've got, oh my god, the amount of cores Bulgaria has. Now that's a lot of good shit. Next time, in our side quest, we should definitely liberate country Bulgaria on Turkey. Serbia doesn't seem to be gaining any new cores. Have they renamed shit? Yeah, they've renamed it. Severna Bulgaria. Bulgarski Dobrucha. That one's the same. Now, I hope Russia doesn't fear this this thing. hope no one fears it. Uh, the sphere points of Russia have not gone up much in Ruthenia, but they have a little bit. And Serbia is safe as well so far. Germany might, though. Okay, we're looking good. We're looking good. Did Italy add any counter-war goals? They're going to take Lika. They're going to take that little bit of uh, Croatia. Emperor Malgus now invade Korea. Chat demands it. Okay. Well. How do I tell him? We can even afford to fund everything, right? Look, it's beautiful. Let's, in honour of what we have just achieved, let's found the University of Dobruja in... Costentia. I really wish we were able to rename this to the Romanian localization because that's basically the bit that Romania owns in the modern day. Uh, I think that's Costa Costan Constanza, right? Costentia, Constanza, yeah. And this one, I don't know. Costanza. George Costanza. Which bit do they also own? This province? No, nah, this province. Right? They own this province. Mongol Man Mongolia? The small one is Mongolia, according to a member of chat. Oh, fuck. We're, we're rank 8. Oh, my God. This is also the problem that happens when in 100% of single-player runs. You get too much prestige. The summer resort of George Costanzia. Right, give me an event to lower my prestige. Let's just say we are uh, committing some scandals across the courts of Europe. Now in Vagicoria, the meta demands it. 
Oh, you can just do that, right? Oh, yeah. You can just do Prestige Minus. Oh, yeah. There wasn't no, I don't need to do an event. Yeah. Let's just almost entirely get rid of my Prestige. Fuck that. If we ever get to the point where we will become a great power on the strength of our industry and army alone, then at that point I will accept it. But Prestige? Nah. Just break truth with Austria? I can't though. I don't have any cores to do that. Actually, I'm stupid. Mangalia comes from Greek. Are you a Bulgarian nationalist or a Romanian nationalist? Or a Greek nationalist? Make up your mind. It's a Greek colony. Yeah. Have you seen the peace deal when Russia win the Crimean War? Well, in this playthrough... Oh, that... Oh, I see what you're asking. Um, well... That, I think it would have happened when I played Russia myself in my own Russia playthrough a while ago. You can, if you are really interested, you can find the VOD playlist on the uh, the Spud Gun archives. I can't remember what happened it was a while ago, but I do think that you had options. Is there a there's a micro province by the way? Oh my God, Silistria has a micro province with a hundred K pops. Holy shit! Did not notice that. The city of Silistria here. Silistra. Just a little fucking triangle. Bulgarians thought they could hide that one from us. Cool sieging down a country in TGC would be impossible. You would always get away with a few provinces that they can't find. Them. Oh shit, Greece! Oh my god, Greece exists. They have just been released and now they're my ally. That's good. The Ottomans is now falling apart, right? Good. I hope they're unraveling. They're still in a war. Um, I am Albanian, like all of us are. So that's the, uh, the nationalist origins. Just so you know, it gets crazier when you dismantle the Ottomans after another scripted war. Yeah, I think I did that as well. When I played Russia, I did. I mean, I, uh, I took fucking Constantinople, I think. Star Tsargrad. Renamed it to Tsargrad. I think I did that. In that playthrough. It was my first TGC run. We might be in for some big rebellions though, but just unable to pass a reform. We need... I think with six or seven militancy we'd be able to pass one because we're the vast majority of the upper house is conservative and they're the ones that only accept reforms at certain militancy did the peace deal happen okay all right what's this what the fuck dalmatia austria hungary has released dalmatia as a puppet um enclave uh enclave they just made an enclave so Italy went very far in this peace deal. They took Lika and Krain, a.k.a. Slovenia. Very controversial and interesting peace deal. We now border Italy, ladies and gentlemen. Italy, by the way, a country that we have accepted pops on. And they have no allies. And Germany could probably get military access through Switzerland, us feeling, if we do this. And there's a one province choke point to just bait them and defend them. Oh, are you thinking what I'm thinking, chat? With our three defense generals, Stefan von Baden. Are you thinking what I'm thinking?
But listen, things are a little bit unstable right now. I need to build up to my force limit. I need to see what happens with these rebels and these reforms. You know, let me just use my suppression points on the big movements to make them more militant and angry. Let's begin integrating Transylvania del Nord. That's it, like it's fucking Spanish. Transylvania del Norte. Do you use the no RNG submod of TGC? I don't know what you mean, no RNG. Oh, aren't, oh, no RNG? Like, what, does it remove roles? I don't know, I've never used that. For some reason, when I read that, I, I, I thought, I just kind of read it first as no RGO mod. But what the fuck? But no RNG. So how's the clergyman going? 2.4, 4 here, so you're moving over to soldiers. Um, yeah, looking solid. Looking solid there. Solid. Solid. 4.7, what is that? Does TGC allow you to disable crises? I'm pretty sure it does. I can't tell you 100%, but in a mod like this, there's bound to be a no well, yeah, actually, the fact that we haven't had any crises, they're off by default or something, because they just haven't been an issue in our TGC runs, have they? You get gens with 20 defense or attacks, and the terrain can give you, like, minus 15. Oh. Well, maybe that is something to look into. Okay, we're completely... Speaking of crises... We might, we might have a thing where it's off until 1870 by default. I've, I've seen that in a lot of mods. Wait, by the way, we literally just had a war between these two countries and there was immediately a fucking crisis? What's this? Osmanli Turk Karadag? What? Are they, are they supporting a country? Which country is this? Which country? What? Wait, what? Karadag. You can't even search this shit. Is it Montenegro? It's Montenegro. Okay. Serbian Patriots? Have they got more cores or what is going on? Why are Serbian Patriots rising up in places without Serbian cores? What? <laughs> I think this is the glitch where you take a bit of land and the rebels still pop in it from the old country. That's technically what has happened. Militant socialists. So I think the Ottomans is unravelling and dying and now they've got a crisis against them. Okay. This is in my interest, I suppose. Italy, still no allies. And by the way, I will just lower my infamy as and when I please. That's the way I play. Hundred and eleven mobilizations, that's quite large, that's good. What is to say that in Anatolia there's a full blown revolution? Well, the f I can't see any occupations happening, so it wasn't really that big. Real Serbian patriots verified this. How much land do you get cores as by that? Nothing. I'm just manually coring everything I can through decisions and events. You get nothing. Nothing. I mean, the capitalists are building decent enough industry. I'm kind of happy with it. Yeah. Can't complain too much. Can I build any more development banks or universities? Now the AI's handling that as well. No more universities and development banks needed, really. We're fine. Yep. Yeah. All good. Good, we're quite developed. Literacy is going up despite the fact we constantly add more land with low literacy to our country. Did you know that you, with France you can create an OP formable? I've heard of it. I've heard of it. Can we get a brief culture map showing? Certainly. 
the militancy might be over six. Well, I need to do what I can to increase militancy. And it's hard when you can't uh, change party. If I recall correctly, the design behind the TGC culture colors in the map and all that is by... They've gone with stuff that was used in real surveys of the time and ethnic maps of the time. But I think that's how they decided to change colours, because some of them are a bit unexpected and strange colours for cultures that you're not used to. Three-way Italian cultures? What do you mean three-way? It's just North and South Italian. What are the French doing here? Hmm. Uh, crisis, how's it going? Oh my god, the other... Okay, Italy's getting fucked over, but Germany backed Italy. Oh shit. There's gonna... This is going to be a gigantic war. And I'm just going to sit it out and hope that they beat each other and all weaken each other. I hope Italy loses so that they get weakened heavily. But they've got Germany on their side. Macedonian existed already. Not in this timeline. Not happening. See all that? It's Bulgarian. And I'm gonna I'm gonna give it all to Bulgaria eventually. Tito has not invented Macedonians yet. What about a stab in the back? I'm, I'm pretty sure you can't attack people during crisis, although I think I can. Maybe I just, maybe I will attack them. Is it time to attack Italy, ladies and gentlemen? Maybe I just will. Yeah, let's justify anyway. Let's get an acquire state on them. I mean, there's a lot of fuckery that goes on with crisis wars. I know, I'm not sure if I'm actually allowed to declare on them, but we'll see. Do I still have a stack stuck down here somewhere? I feel like I'm missing a stack. No, oh, didn't I have a stack lying around somewhere that didn't have a cavalry in it? Is there a rule that says we can't deck on Italy? You're not allowed to deck on countries that you can't... Uh, countries that are already in a war. Sorry. We're thinking about adding a secret EU path with neutral Morris neck. Go for it. Neutral Morris Net is a serious challenge. I've tried it before. I failed. Alright, looks like the war is going to break out. Italy, 13 brigades. Germany, 320. Just because of how weak Italy somehow is and how strong... Well, Germany's strong, but Russia and France against them? Let's see where this one goes. Let's see where this one goes. What is Morris Net? Don't remind me. I don't, you don't want to know. Alright, let's see where this war goes and then see who's weak at the end of it that we can attack. The Germans have immediately gone in for an attack on this vulnerable Russian stack with their plus five attack general. Actually, let's have a cliffhanger. I'm, I need a cup of tea. You're going to be stuck on a cliffhanger chat. I will be right back. I hope you're enjoying so far. Uh, I appreciate you all being here. Stick around. I'll be back in a few minutes, ladies and gentlemen. Okay.
Okay, I'm back. Let's see how this war goes then, ladies and gentlemen. Has this stream been recommended out to lots of new people today? Because we're getting lots of basic questions coming in. We get like, what game is this? What mod is this? This is the Grand Combination mod for Victoria 2. Do you think the war will be over by Christmas? The AI will probably peace out the war by Christmas. They always peace out too early. So Germany's going in um, on both fronts. And they're winning so far on both fronts. This Germany is just fucking unstoppable. Did you play the sub mod with zombies? I have played it. In fact, yes, I did play a Spain playthrough of that. Who remembers? That was... Uh... That was something. Have you ever played Minecraft? Yes, and a matter of fact, we used to have community Minecraft servers. We've had a, a few iterations of them over previous years. Oh, look at that, Serbia building up a nice army now. That's our base little Serbian puppet. By the way, yeah, uh, Ruthina does still have a couple more cores on Austria. I'd like to give them those cores, but I want them to take the whole regions. I don't want them to just take one province. You know, I don't care for taking Slovakia myself. There's no accepted pops. I don't want that Polish land. Maybe I'll just release a whole new puppet, I'll release, I'll release Slovakia or Czech, Czech, uh, Czechoslovakia, I don't know when are we starting the book on one beef again? you know what, never, unless I'm the one who gets attacked so it looks like Germany has just beaten them anyway just fucking straight up win I was expecting a combined France and Russia to do better but no, this Germany is, this AI Germany is absolutely fucking unstoppable. I created this Germany. This is my creation. I did all the work in this Germany for me. And I'm not even joking because I'm pretty sure they got Alsace from a war against France that I contrived. And they've certainly got Bohemia off of a war I did. Italy is killing Serbian rebels. Those Serbians were not going to release any land anyway, though. Because there's no more Serbian cores out there. I think it's literally just a rebel glitch. When you lose land in a war, the, the host country, the country that had the land, can still get rebels in it. It's happened a lot. I've seen it in multiplayer many times as well. So yeah, we're getting very strong, we're getting our soldier pops up very high, it's all great. They release Montenegro. That's the war over. That's the war over. Uh, that's that. GG. Italy didn't do much. Italy's weak as fuck. We are going in on Italy. Gas is barely done, 162 days. We are going in on Italy. We are fucking going in on them. And what am I going to take? I'm going to take Krain, because it is actually a very south, upper German, South German state, largely. 
And then... Ooh, what do we take after that? I'd love to just start eating proper North Italian land, but no, I don't think we did, can get there yet. It would be best to... Maybe we take Litorale. There are a lot of North Italians and South Germans in this region. I think that would be good. There are North Italians and Upper Germans. North Italian, Upper German, and in Trieste, North Italian and Upper German. I think we would take these two regions at least. The war score wise, who knows, maybe we could go as far as Venice already. Uh, by the way, yeah, for those people saying when the war was over, and I, I did predict the war would be over quickly because of the AI. The war ended before Halloween, let alone Christmas. So that's that over with. What did Ottomans lose? Montenegro? Yeah, just Montenegro. Which is my ally and still just a Russian feeling. So the Ottomans is a rump now. They're fucked, which is good. So we can go in and take more from them. And perhaps instead of giving Serbia a fucking... What do you call it? Bo uh, Bosnia? I can just... Create a new Bosnian puppet. Bosansko Kralazevsko. See, there's a whole... I can do a liberate country. It's got three regions, so it's actually kind of difficult to do individual regions or... Stuff like that. It would be much easier to just free liberate country on that. You want to see culture map mode again? Okay, why not? You know, for all the, the detail that this mod has... They, there's no such thing as Walloon and Flemish. It really is just French and Dutch. And they've added Friesian <laughs> and uh, stuff like that, but not Flemish or anything. Interesting choice. Now, what do we get? I would say let's go for an army tech. Because at this point, we are going to be fighting loads of wars back to back and just going out there and winning loads of wars. Austria is a rump, Italy's got barely any brigades, and the Ottomans is a rump. So that's very good news for us. Gas is barely done in 122 days. I, I will probably mobilize for this war because I know that Italy still can mobilize as well. Even though they got 15 brigades, they'll probably mobilize a lot, a, a large amount. Spud, your thoughts on Victoria 3? Oh, come on. I don't, I don't want to answer that now. If you want my thoughts on the game in general, they're well attested in previous streams, previous videos and all that. Definitely watch the videos. I mean, I don't. my views on it haven't changed since any of those. What are your accepted cultures? Oh, my God. There we go again. Look, uh, the questions in chat today. Uh, anyone want to know what the mod is as well? It's a... Uh, in the description. No fam the mod, not Vicky 3. Oh, you thought you meant Victoria 3 the mod. Well look, how can I know that? There is a mod called Victoria 3 created by a, a developer who's chatted to me and is I've advertised the mod on my Discord, but I I don't really know much about it and I haven't played it, so I can't answer that either. How did the assimilation went as your German main culture? I don't know how assimilation's been going, to be honest. I haven't checked. Serbians are not assimilating. Turks are not assimilating. I don't assume there's been much assimilation then. It's not really... I don't think it's happening. I'm not really playing for assimilation. Alright, let's mobilise. East time mobilisation? Don't care. Oh, and fund the army. This will still tank my economy, but I can handle it. I've built up a cash reserve. So, even though I... As much as I'd love to just sit here and allow the Italians to attack me and defend with my good defence general, 
because of the Italian army numbers, it's not really viable. I'll just have to go in. I'd love to just sit here and do a really crap tactic. Is this Hoi 4? Genuine question. Yes. We got a core on Brashov. Nice. Thoughts on the end of a new beginning mod for Hoi 4? I don't know, I never played it. How did you originally find Victoria 2? Um, I can't remember exactly how, but uh, I, I, I was a console player playing Call of Duty and stuff. And then I got interested in strategy games, so I wanted to get a PC, got a PC, started uh, Total War games I first got into. Somehow or other I heard about Victoria 2, I think I watched a video about it or something, around 2011 or 12. And then I got into it. And then it so happened that a Mountain Blade Warband Napoleonic Wars regiment that I was in had a Victoria 2 multiplayer group, and that's how I first played multiplayer. I thought Johan personally gifted it to you. No. I wish. What is your favourite Total War game and what faction? Uh, my favourite Total War game was always Empire. Maybe it's not objectively the best. Maybe it's got problems. But it was just the one that I most loved and was into for the historical period at the time. And boy do I wish they'd make an Empire 2 Total War instead of this fucking fantasy crap they've been doing for the past decade. Okay, here we go. There's nothing that can really stop us. They've got 20... Well, they've, Italy has built up a few more brigades now, but we can handle it. So, the first thing we're decking for is just Krein. Which has still very much got its German name. Wait, don't you think... Don't you think... Italy has its own name for this. Does anyone know what the Italian name for this would be if it was localised? Or translated? When is it Hungary? Austria, Hungary, Chusend. 1886. I'm not rushing to that because we might still be busy with Italy at the time. This is a choke point actually. This, this province I'm in now is a choke point. Or maybe it's not actually, because this province has this little connection here. PGC provinces in this war coming in. Uh, suppress the Tatar right. Yeah, suppress the Tatar right. Why not? Everyone's asking about Tatar rights, but what about Tatar wrongs? Well, lie back here. This province is definitely a choke point. So, let's sit there. Um, following elections. We're on 6.7 militancy with still no reform. Oh, that's shit. We're close. Let's take some of the election events that give militancy if we can. I'm just uh, moving in an orderly fashion into Italy. No crazy moves.
Look at the fucking provinces. Imagine fighting here. I'm about to. So we've choke pointed them back in Italy now. We've taken we've seized all the Balkan area pretty much from them. So that's gonna make it easier to fight. What are they doing though? Do you think they're gonna find a way to move around or some shit? They're attacking me in Senya. Uh, I don't have a good defense general there. Uh, two. They will continue to attack me even though I'm reinforcing. So there we go. We're going to fight a battle then. They're bringing loads more troops. No encirclement. I mean, the shape of these provinces anyway. I mean, imagine trying to encircle something in this bullshit. Um, let's follow up. Let's... Yeah, they're, they're, they're falling back to a, an encircled by default province. Now, isn't it nice that we don't have to worry about AI bullshit piecing us out of the war like Germany? Ah, oh, it's nice. We've got complete control over this war. Let's add our next war goal. Are we ever going to take this Lika? It's got gold, but no accepted pops. It's part of the cores of Vojvodina and uh, Croatia. Don't really want to release either of them because they've both got cores on land that I want to keep. Hello, Drew. Nice to see you, mate. Trieste should have Germans. It does have some, but it's also mostly got Italians. Who I accept, by the way. Okay, we've got, uh, we've got Italians walking into Postoina. There will be a battle. Oh, shit. There will be blood. Oh, a fucking four attack. Jesus Christ. Mamma mia. Okay. And then I didn't manage to encircle the Italians because I had to move away to reinforce this. I'll just go to Udina because that completely cuts them off. Even if it's no technical encirclement. Three defense. We'll hold that. I need to put that through defense in that battle. They attack me in Udina? Okay, okay. I won that battle, they were treating here, okay. Look at the number of provinces you have to walk around. Senia, Piscino, Pola, Capodistria, Trieste, Gorizia. This would be perfect for fighting World War One, though, with fucking the Asonso battles. It would work well there. There'll be a lot of interesting movement. Wait, where the... Oh my god! Italy retreated to a fucking micro-province! Biume! 20k pop. Look at that. You see it? You fucking see it? The feet of the Italian unit sprite are in both of the neighbouring provinces. That's how small it is. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, let's attack that with no commander. And finish it off. Oh my god. We won Postoina, so I can put my three attack general. Can I click on that province though? Yeah, there we go. That's it. There we go. Okay, they're offering peace. I was going to add uh, Litorale. That was always the plan anyway. Um, Litorale. Five, four, five. Infamy command, what was it called again, please?
Cheers, lads. Cheers, everyone. Swiss Alliance. So, we might have enough war score to take something. I don't know what we'll take more. Right, attack there. Stuff like that. And then spread out and occupy. Yeah, it would be a good emote. I need to look into that. Maybe we'll remove another emote. Um, what I might do is put a, a, a community post poll for channel members. The emote that they would most be okay with removing. Their least favourite. And see what we can do. To free up a slot for something more cutting edge and relevant. Like an event. A18540. Slovenian nationalists coming out of nowhere. Well, I guess where they're coming out of is uh, Slovenia. Portugal Alliance. Portugal's got a very nice big LARP name with the localization. Okay, and we're out of money. So this currently costs 36 war score, which is cheap. How much is Veneto? Oh my god. How much would this be? Oh my god, can we afford that? We can afford Venice. We're taking Venice, lads. We're taking fucking Venice. So not another region. So they would have... Italy would still have Istria and uh, Lika. But those are coastal and they're connected. So there's no enclaves. We're not breaking the rules. We're taking fucking Venice. Veneto. Huge. Occupy all the micro provinces. Is that Italian army down to zero? Not quite. Not quite. Up at San Marino. Yeah, okay, I'll I'll do that, yeah. See, look how quickly we've managed to fucking go in debt though. We're up over 120k in debt. Wow. So the literate the uh, militancy's gone down a bit, the conservatives won again. Reforms Never happening. Oh my fucking god. The Italian rebels are going to be much worse than any of mine. Holy shit. That's actually quite big. Upper German Patriots, I can only presume, would go to Germany. You're behind on naval tech, Spud. You know, I think I will remain behind on naval tech the whole game. I don't think I'll ever invest in that. Because we have the ability to get to all our accepted pops by land. There's nowhere that's only accessible by, uh, by fleet for us that we need or would like to get. It's unnecessary.
Remember to tell your boss to use the three man space and can't be rule breaking. Which rule would that be breaking? Oh my god. We can easily handle that though. With uh, the really large mobilisation pool that this country now has, we can handle anything. North and South memory. Okay, that's what it was. I remember you, Stalin. Of course I fucking remember you. I just remember more fucking Napoleonic Wars than I do North and South stuff. Oh, the, the puppets are coming in to help with the rebels in my hour of need. Ottomans are definitely occupying Bulgaria, red alert. Wait, what? Oh. Well, thanks for pointing that out. But what the actual fuck is that? What? A Ru so Russia has feared Bulgaria for a start, which means they'll probably release it at some point. And they have indeed gone to war, but this, this is a status quo war for Turkey. The Russians have actually gone in and, and attacked the Ottomans. Thanks for pointing it out, I suppose, but it's not going to have any effect. Because the Ottomans can't add anything. Someone actually gave good advice? Well, it was Bolton as well, and he gave bad advice yesterday, but we're not going to talk about what that was, because it will, you know, who knows? It might be a future video. What are the Russians demanding? They're painting the map. They're taking cars, Vasco on it. France is... Okay, they're also taking French shit from Spain. France is blobbing into Spain. S uh, Norway is independent in the Russian sphere. Uh, yeah, those are your questions answered for the day. And by the way, see that Russia doing that? I'm very happy that they're doing that. Annexing fucking Ottomans instead of attacking me from Moldova again and again. Again, that's what... So that, that decision is vindicated, right? I do still have 14 war score on the Italians, but given how my economy is, I'd rather just piece out the war as soon as possible rather than try and hold on for even reps, but just... Just piecing out the war as soon as possible is more effective than staying in the war and bankrupting myself for reps. This is quite critical, so I'm actually going to lower military spending. I don't think any of the army will be a threat ever again. Fourteen war score. Is Istria worth that or less? Doubt it. Oh my god it is. I'm taking Istria. What the fuck? It's ten war score? Okay. Yeah. What RGOs will be getting from Italy? Okay, let's look at the Veneto region. Holy shit, the Veneto region is larger. Well, actually, I say it's larger than it is in vanilla, but that's just because the map is larger. I love the TGC map, and I love how a different map can be put into Victoria 2 and modded in, and it can just make the game feel different. It feels like the region is larger and has more provinces, but it's exactly the same provinces as vanilla, apart from an additional micro LARP province, except they're just larger physically on the, the larger TGC map. Um, the two Sicilies releases are formable. Nah, it seems like when Italy formed, they got rid of all their local cultures and identities. Which is kind of accurate. Just like France. Now uh, they removed all that. Unfortunately for me. Really though, I think I do need to get some kind of... Uh, economic tech. A quick one though. Just a quick small one. We need the Middle-earth map in Victoria too, mate. Someone made that, and I actually want to play it. There's a Lord of the Rings mod. 
It's already there. It's been done. It's being actively developed as we speak. Oh, I just run time down on myself by trying to put a general. Oh, that's fine. Hey, at least uh, that skill issue has allowed me to see the Zen Moss doodle here. I'll be showing you this. Let's see. I'm loading the game. Then must made that one for my Romanian lands. Is, what's up with the chat there? Is the chat right? Because there's a super chat there in the chat screen that I can't see here in real chat. Chat is right. So what's that super chat it's showing at the top? I can't see it. Here we go. We can take a moment here, I suppose, to just glance out at the beauty of our banat from the, uh, the country selection screen here. We've uh, expanded it a bit on this stream, but we're, main, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna get our biggest expansion now. Um, probably our biggest expansion ever. Our safest expansion, our easiest expansion. The expansion that didn't involve bullshit German AI taking over the war and piecing it out too early. This is our best and most comfortable expansion so far. And it's funny because Italy was looking pretty strong, but it just killed itself. And guess who it did it against? Austria, Hungary and the Ottomans. They're all killing each other and allowing Banat to come through. Are we ending the stream with this war or the next war on the Ottomans? I'm still going to be streaming for a while longer, so we're going to do more. We're going to have a war on Austria. We're going to have a war on the Ottomans. We're going to do all of these things. I did have to revert a bit, unfortunately. There was some kind of invisible super chat that I saw. However, if you want to give a real super chat, you can use the function and support the channel. Or you can join the channel membership. And I'm still not making money despite having defunded my army. So yeah, give a super chat and I can make money in-game. That's how it works. I think it was this very battle that I attempted to put a general on the stack and it was already in the battle and I run timed error of the game. Make sure that this save has Istria added as a war goal. It does. We're back. And it's 97 war score total. Are they offering me all of this? Oh, yeah. Uh, Krain, Litorale, Veneto, Istria. Yeah, that's it. They offered me the peace, lads. I can rename shit. What am I renaming it to? Oh, I can't wait to find out. So there we go. Look at that. We've snaked through the coastline. Absolutely amazing. Beautiful. country is getting dangerously large. Who knows, we might get rebels and stuff. Gotta be very alert. Right, let's see. Uh, what Also, we've got loads of factories that we should reopen and subsidize. What are we renaming? I, th I think we're going to rename it to German, aren't we? We're renaming it to German. But there's a choice here. Because we don't have to. Because... North Italian's accepted for us as well. We're perfectly okay with the Italian names.
if they are core population, you probably won't have a problem. Listen, we've had, we just had a major uprising and Hungarian is accepted. Rename it, rename it. Listen, I'm going to make a poll. But before I make the poll, I just want to explain. The names are currently in Italian, okay? North Italian is one of my accepted pops. This is the first North Italian piece of land that I've gotten. We're going to make a poll. The choice is, would you like to rename it to German or keep it as Italian? Okay, let's see. There's the poll. Cast your votes, ladies and gentlemen. Cannot rename Istria. Which is strange because that also used to be part of uh, Austria Hungary. Veneto is perfectly well stocked in uh, clergymen and all that. I'm from Banat Lamau. Oh, amazing. Do you speak. Uh, German, Hungarian, Romanian, French, and Italian? I bet you do, because you're just a combination of all these cultures. Right? I misclicked and voted Italian. And you were one of the most ardent voices of support for German, weren't you? Hypocrite. He speaks Banat Bulgarian. Only Serbian? Oh, so you're from the Serbian side, right? Because in modern day... I mean, these four provinces here were what Banat started with. And in modern day, Timisoara and this one here are in Romania. And the other side, Kindamare and Panchiova. Pan, um, what do you call it? Panchevo. Panchevo, obviously, in Serbia. So our, our guy in the chat here is from the Serbian side of Banat. He's from that side of the tracks. He's from uh, west side. German is currently winning the poll, so if any of the pro-Italian people want to come through and, you know, have their say, now's your time. No be sad? No. No be happy. Keep the empire strong. Stop the count. <laughs> we can build a whole new stat worth of troops out of all that. Okay, look. Truck loads of Italians turn up to change the poll. I will call the poll there. Okay, I think that's enough. German has won the vote. Let me make a new pinned message, by the way. Just let me add an obligatory uh, advertising uh, pinned comment. There we go. Okay, we're renaming it. That is what the uh, voice of the people has said. That's all we can rename now. Uh, Litorale, uh, Istria. They are both staying Italian and this one's German. So it's just all over the place. I mean, other than French, we currently have regions named... Actually, we don't have an... Yeah, no, after this... We've got a German named region here in Venice. We've got Italian named regions in Litorale. Uh, Slovenia is actually a German named Laibach, Krein, Petau, Olsnitz. And then all of Hungary is Hungarian named. Uh, also, these parts of Vojvodina or Croatia actually are Hungarian named. And then most of the country from here on out is Romanian named. Which is one of our accepted... All the lands that are in modern-day Romania, except Dobruja, is actually stayed Serb... No, not Serbian. Turkish named. So Dobruja has remained Turkish named. Kostentia and Sulina. Turkish. Spud, look at Eastern Romania. Romelia. Oh. Oh. Oh, right. Oh. 
yeah, the uh, the Russians went in and killed. Oh, 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 fucking Bosnia. Oh, oh. Okay, I'm puppeting Bosnia. What the fuck? Um, and then France took <laughs> France took the Basques from Spain. Okay, now Russia got cars, Armenia stuff from uh, the Ottomans. Okay, fucking hell. Yeah, the Ottomans have gotten gutted even more. When's my truce with them out? My truce with them lasts until 1886 next year. My truce with Austria would be the same truce. Now, Austria is friend, uh, friendly Russia. Russia will probably sphere them. But I've still got Germany. Uh, uh, Turkey, on the other hand, is going to be pretty easy pickings now completely. Yeah, nothing. This little puppet, though, Taurus with the Dutch flag, is a puppet of Turkey. Uh, awkward. A liberate country for the rest of Bulgaria, but this part won't be in it. Yes, the challenge is doing pretty all right this time. You know what? It is. Italy is at war. Who's Italy at war with? No, just rebels. Just rebels. But what the fuck is that province? Wait. Lika. Oh, it's part of... Okay, right, right, right. It's part of the bit of Croatia they have. Okay. It's just a micro province. That was the province we actually had a battle in, and it's part of the other region. And it's currently occupied by Upper German Patriots. Now I'm going to leave a stack of troops in Venice. Deutsch Pan Nationalists. We have massive rebel issues potentially. And I don't know where exactly they're going to be. So they could pop up all over this country, you know. Yeah, there we go. Deutsch Pan Nationalists of all things. These people in Romania and in Italy and shit, they want to join Germany? Okay. Let's mobilize quickly for it. Fuck it. And we are on 49% for passing a reform, of course. True, the puppets are going to help, I think. Maybe Serbia won't, because Serbia is now in the fucking Russian sphere. At some point, I should actually just allow myself to become a great power, because then I'd be able to sphere my shit and have full control. Bad to have all this shit in other countries' sphere. Now, uh, let's get some uh, straight-up tax... Uh, uh, money and development bank upgrade. Ah, Serbia is helping. I'm very careful. I want to make sure that I have troops stationed uh, in my Italian land at all times. 
That's a sort of isolated area. If a massive nationalist uprising happens there, it could quickly release my shit before I can react. It's it's one of the places at the most risk. Did the Ottomans explode? Yeah, they didn't explode massively, you know, though, it's just... They had a war, and Bosnia got released, one small weird puppet in Bulgaria got released under their own puppethood, and Greece got released earlier by an event. It wasn't like a dramatic, complete fall of the Balkans thing. They have to demobilize at this point. The militancy's gone down a bit because we killed the militant people. Anyway, the good news is we're about to puppet Bosnia. Which is called in the localization Bosansko Kraljestvo, Kingdom of Bosnia. Russia sphered Bulgaria and Serbia. I hope I don't lose them. I hope I don't lose them. Say later, Lawrence. How do you say Les Miserables in Banatian? Uh, depends which language of Banat it, it is, you know. French is accepted in Banat, so you could just say Les Miserables. We're even fucking more in debt now, 170,000. Every time I see Eastern Romelia, I feel personally mentioned and, uh, and seen. Aren't you Albanian? Albania is still a loyal, friendly part of the Ottoman Empire. Okay, the Upper House! Yes, we're so back! Finally, a fucking reform! Oh my god, we're passing basic school system. One little Upper House change did it for us. Yes, I liked your song, Joni. Our truces are up with fucking everyone, though. So, uh... Well, let's... Well, not, not Austria-Hungary yet. That's later this year. My truce with Turkey up? No, actually none of the truces are up. It's both... Late 1886. Defaulting would be a base move. Now, mate, we're not the laughing stock of the world economically. We've got to be respected. Oh, 
Oh, Austria-Hungary is a republic. I don't think I noticed that. At least, you know, different government types also give interesting localization that's interesting to see. This is now the uh, uh, Republikanische Union von Österreich-Ungarn. An onion. Oh, I'm, I'm really curious to see what Banat would be in different government types, though. That really makes you think. But, you know, that I don't actually have any rebel problems right now after passing that reform, so nothing's really going to happen. Besides, I don't think I can ever let myself fault the rebels, because my trusty puppets will always kill them, even without me commanding. Because I, I can't command them. Les Miserables would be in Banat, Bulgarian. Mate, Bulgarian is one of the cultures not accepted by Banat. Get out of here, Bulgarian. You're gonna you're going to one of my puppets. You're not part of the, the main show. You're being contained down in my Bulgarian puppet. That's what you're that's what it's for. In Serbia a puppet. Yeah, 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 Serbia's a puppet, if that's what you're asking. And then, you know, I did this in my, if, if anyone, who was here for, who was here, either a VOD viewer or a live viewer, who was here for my Aragon playthrough in DoD Fan Fork? Who was here for that? I think that was my first ever DoD Fan Fork playthrough. It was. Who was here? Were you about BRM? I don't remember. Were you here? Here for all of that. I was silent. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Kellen, you're here. Okay, that's the puppet. We got a new puppet, everyone. Say hello to Bosnia, my new puppet. We're losing as Aragon one? No. We won as that one. Spoilers. How much debt do you have? 150,000. We will pay that down before going into any new uh, wars, I think. The business banks tech that I'm doing now should help it significantly with the overall economy. We'll be fine. The Balkan Puppet Swarm. Yeah, that was why I mentioned the Aragon playthrough, because I did that. I created a massive Balkan puppet swarm in that, and it was really fun. Except I did it as a great power, so I could actually sphere shit, and uh, yeah, Italy's now a, a fucking disaster zone. Well, uh, I was thinking, well, do I need to call Germany in against Austria? If Russia joins, yeah. And they probably will intervene. It just makes it so much easier to call Germany into that. There's a, we need to get rid of this enclave here. Horvat. There's enough upper Germans in this region to make it pretty much worth it. And some Hungarians. It's fine to take that one. I don't want to release a Croatian puppet. Because there's just too much land. That, you know, It would cut me off. And it would... Uh, just be too much. There's a lot of Hungarians, a lot of Germans in the regions that would form Croatia. Unlike, say, Serbia, for example. Then again, you know, there is this province here in Serbia that does have a lot of Romanians, and I remember considering keeping it because of that, but nah. Overall, releasing Serbia has been good. Not many manual cores happening lately. I wonder what influences it to happen faster. It's uh, I've got it going. I've got it ongoing in this Bucharest region, but it's not happening. If you form Yugoslavia, the land would go to it. No, the Croatian land, I mean. I don't know. Forming Yugoslavia is not a 100% certain thing I want to do, actually. I like my various puppet swarm of different things. 
BTW, Smart Education Efficiency Scales, linear with education spending, mean that a 0 spent thing you won't get any literacy at 50, get half. Yeah, yeah. Well, I... I could have guessed that education spending was needed to get education. Yes. But I couldn't afford it. What's the population of Kosovo? Good question. This one here. 22% Albanian, 9% Turkish, 66% Serbian. This one here, culture map mode. It's, well, it's as you would expect. It's just all over the place. This one down here is majority Serbian. This one is 40, 49%. Yeah, that's definitely majority Albanian at this point. Time here. I don't know what that means. I don't know who's getting offended by that. Well, you know, from what I've heard, the various controversies over Kosovo are down to. Well, at any given time, it may have more of Albanians in it or more of Serbians in it. So, but then people will claim, oh, it used to have more Serbians in it, and then you fucking killed them, or something like that, for example. I'm not saying that's what happened. So, if you use the claim of, you know, self-determination, like, in the present day, so the people currently living in a place get to decide how they govern it, and what countries, it, countries it's in. You know, that means, theoretically, you could just ethnically cleanse a place, Put your own people in it, make them vote and go, look, the current people there want to be a part of us. But I'm not saying that's what happened here or anywhere in particular. I'm just saying that could happen under the principle of self-determination. You just put the people in you want to determine yourself. Just deciding what con deciding what country any given region belongs to in any disputed place is fucking impossible. You know, back in the day, before our uh, international law, it used to just be might makes right, and whoever fucking just wins and was stronger got it. And a part of me thinks, you know what, that's just a lot simpler. Just have it like that again, because this international law never gets anywhere. You know. These claims, these current people, these votes, these referendums, just, just fucking kill each other. I'm joking. I'm joking. Or am I? Just allow people to kill each other again is all I'm saying. No, I'm not. I'm not really saying that. Let's just get an education reform. And uh, another, you know, cheeky national focus. Let's just put, let's just start encouraging craftsmen. I don't know exactly what the industrial situation is in these, but... This is where I get my geopolitical opinions. You're not going to get any here. You're not going to get any real opinions. I just like to talk some shit now and again. Um, I think it's high time we abandon this whole nation-state bullshit and return the sovereignty, sovereignty to the monarchs. Yeah, if that's what people used to do before. The nation-state is... Quite a relatively new invention, you know, from the French Revolution, I suppose, one of the first. Before that, people really didn't think like that. People didn't really think in terms of, oh, this is my country, oh, this is my land. People were just a peasant. But please, Spud, tell us how you really feel. I don't know, I don't really feel either strongly either way on it. I don't come from a country that has any massive, amazing, revanchist claims that are like, constantly coping about, like some people do, like in the Balkans and all that. So I'm not really... I don't really think like that. I just sort of look at these things from the outside and wonder what the fuck's going on. Unless, maybe I should be claiming, oh, we need to get Beric upon Tweed back. You know, this little bit here. Used to be, used to be Scottish. Used to be Scottish, this... Little bit 
Berwick upon Tweed. Beautiful little town, I think. Let's get that back. It's our revanche's claim. Thought you want to conquer Northumbria for gl glorious Albert. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. My bullshit historical justifications for any given clay, good and based. Yours, cringe. Yeah, exactly. It's just... How do you decide who's right and wrong? I mean, look, you can see there's instances where things are clearly wrong and moves to annex other countries' line are clearly wrong. But then, if, if if the shoe was on the other foot, any group of people would do it to the other group of people. It's just what people do. So, who's really right or wrong when you break it down far enough? Um... No, don't, don't talk about Scotland, okay? Move, move on the topic. Can we get back to the Balkans, please? Don't talk about Scotland. Obviously, the only people who are in the right are the kind that win in the end. Yeah, the, the victors write the history books. Unless the losers move to another place as a diaspora and write the history books there, make people sympathise with the claim and then go back and win, the victor doesn't necessarily write the history books. The losers... Hear, hear me out. The new quote, right? The, the new quote that's better than the cringe uh, victors write the history books quote. The losers move to another place and write their history books and then go back and win. History is written by whoever writes it. And I've thought about that with my videos, right? I can just portray myself as right in my own videos, even if I lose. Because right? I'm the only one writing the history on it because no one else is making a video. Anyway, the truces are up, right? So we can finally... Oh, fucking hell. Big news, big development. Austria-Hungary has allied France. So what does this mean for us? This just means we call in Germany again and they sort it. Okay, that's all it means. Right? That's, it's just as simple as that, really. Okay. We've got a Bosnian puppet. I don't need to deploy my troops down there anymore. Historians write history books, which is why people know about Thermopylae, even though it was a loss. Who wrote about Thermopylae? Some Greeks must have done it. Hmm. Who are we fighting France? Would you be able to take Corsica? Technically, yes. Um, by the way, Russia would probably join from... Russia might intervene and make it a status quo war, I'm not sure. End of the Ottoman dynasty, it's now the Turkish Republic. Ataturk is coming in a little bit early. Also, uh, Iran owns a random province there for no reason. Just thought I'd like to let you know. Britain has taken Egypt and Cyprus. No more shit has been released in the Balkans, though. Uh, Ottomans is now completely isolated. They'll be so much easier to attack. But, I don't have any accepted pops and shite on them. The next stuff I want to take from Austria is probably just going to be straight up actual Austria and Westungarn. So we're, that's what we want now. I'm going in to take Kärnten uh, Steiermark. That's what we're after now. Maybe uh, Tyrol. Oh, and I should definitely clean up Horvat. Yeah, I should clean that up. Problem is, we are about to deal with yet another... Uh, German war leader war. So let's see what happens with this. Justify acquire state now.
We are still quite a bit in debt and I've forgotten to keep track of that. Can't really be bothered mobilizing, guys. You see... Oh, Jacobins. It's already a Republic, though. Mobilizing requires microing my mobilized stacks and stuff like that. You know, I might just abolish mobilized stacks because it means actually mobilizing for them. And I don't really have the motivation to do that again and again in single player as much as in multiplayer. Microing and putting together stacks and stuff. Just can't be bothered doing it in single player. So I think it makes more sense to just put everything. Oh my god, I just rolled a five attack general. Holy shite. Look at that. Look at him. Reinhold Hoffman. Wow. Ah, there you go, eh? Wow. Nice. Reinhard. But yeah, I'm just going to abolish mobilized stacks right now for those reasons. You should play the combat sub mod. Yeah, someone else in the chat was mentioning that earlier as well. Certainly something to try out. I don't know which playthrough I would put it in though. Like when when would I play it? I don't know. This exclave here is gonna be just full of rebels now. I have to deal with that. Hoffman Banat, genius general from Great University of Timishwara. So true. Um, now, uh, how about some fucking railroads? Unless Germany's been investing them in me or something. No, I still only level, level 2. That's going to be a plus 15 general. Someone was explaining to me that uh, it's an, the mod, the sub mod that removes RNG, so no dice rolls, right? And that they increase the stats of terrain, of generals, and all sorts of things. And they will decide the battles. Huge storm in Novi Sad. Can someone hold my hand? Um, come on, you're in Banat. Be a man. Only men live in Banat. And women. But the men are men. You grow up. It's a storm. Buffs terrain in generals. Yeah. To the point where, the, oh, so it doesn't remove dice rolls, it just buffs everything else, right, yeah. You know, uh, Zombie Freak made the roll mod that can actually, it's like an EXE sort of mod, I don't know exactly how it works, but he he made it so that you can actually edit the range of rolls you can get in the game. It's actually complicated as fuck code injection level men mental stuff. Or in other words, elite hacking. You know about it. Yeah. Portugal is being decked on by France and they want me to join? Nah, no, sorry. I'm allied with Spain too. Maybe I'll call Spain in against France and Austria. Oh, wait. No. The French alliance is gone, so that's fine. It's only Russia. Croatia's going to depopulate after Jacobin occupation. Hey, the Austrians won't even accept mill access to go and kill them, right? You can't say I didn't try to do something about it.
Hermann von Heino. Oh, I love alliterated German names so much. One of my favorite things. One of my got to be one of my favorite genders. Alliterated German names. Hermann von Heino. Does anyone know any others? Okay, well, let's let's prepare a little bit. Unfortunately, at some point I will have to fund my army and then I'll start going bankrupt again. How does regiments experience more in this war work in this mod? I don't know. So where's the five attack that I've rolled? What's his name again? Horst von Hohenhausen, another great name. Richard Reinhold Hoffmann. All German names seem to begin with H. Don't get it. Why? Okay, well, I need to fund the army first. Yeah, I knew I'd forgotten something. There we go. Bankruptcy. Why do you want me to highlight uh, the black population of Niksic uh, in Serbia? Uh, that seems to be all chat's talking about now. So we've just made the population of Timisoara 5% more liberal. Are we all happy with that? Where's my decision to renovate it? What do I need for that? Oh, I just need loads of money. Well, that's never fucking happening. Uh, yeah, let's just declare the war. I'm going to deck for Horvat first. Okay, 35 war score for that. You know, I'm going to be I'm going to be optimistic. I don't want to call the Germans in yet because I don't want to assume that Ru Russia's actually going to join it, right? I don't want to deal with it. Let's not entertain that thought yet. Oh my god, they do have an army. They out the rebels outplayed my general as well. Tell me one of these generals is a fucking defense general. No. You get in. You just know that Russia is going to intervene, though, don't you? You just expect it. It's going to happen. But then and only then I'll call in Germany. Look, I'm not the kind of guy to make a video highlighting the black population of Nick Sage. I don't do travel videos. You need to contact Bald and Bankrupt or something to go there. Has Bald and Bankrupt never been to Serbia? Or something like that? Come on. Oh yeah, there's Russia. Of course they join in as soon as I get one war score. Oh my god. And it looks like Germany's truce with Russia for two months. Who cares? We can handle that. And I, I can't even be bothered mobilizing because I don't want to control all that. Tell you what. Wait. Oh, the Republic of Dalmatia joined against me. I'm going to call in even Serbia. Why can't I call the Serbs in? There's nothing that even tells me why I can't call them in. I'm going to call in Ruthenia, though. Oh, because Serbia is in the Russian spear. I'm going to call in Bulgaria, though. Because all this prevents Russia from spearing it. I have to hold out until August before Germany is allowed to join. Can I do it? Oh my god. Cliffhanger. Now, that, doesn't this mean... Yeah, it's just a status quo war. So even if I lose this war... Even if we face a gigantic failure and a disaster, they can't take anything. Ok, 
Can you take Dalmatia from Austria? I, I don't care for it too much. I don't really care about it. Probably not. I can add war goals in Austria-Hungary now, though, which makes it very easy to... That means that there's less bullshit when Germany gets in the war. So I'm going to add Karantin Steiermark. A 54 war score? Hold on. 36. That's all I'm going to be taking. Just these two. War score is getting to be a problem now. Germany's not going to get anything. Don't even bother adding a war goal when you're in the war, Germans. Don't even fucking bother. Okay. I don't care about what's happening. Oh, Bulgaria! Oh my god, Bulgaria! Holy shit, Bulgaria. Look at them go. We're fighting down there. My puppets. I'm helping them. I need to do something about this. The Russians didn't actually send much. Holy shit, Bulgaria. Did I just lose this battle? The Austrians are putting up a fight? Save Ruthenia. What's going on here? Right. Reinhold Hoffman. I'm general exploiting against them now. Yeah. Not a good general for that, though. Ah, uh, defense. No, Ruthenia, come on! No! Auto-retreat bullshit. It happened. Got this battle here now. I think we can hold that. Yeah. My puppet swarm is all I need. If only the Serbians could come in. It's August called Germany. Listen, mate, you know what? I don't even want to call Germany. This is I'm gonna just win this alone. Alone without mobilizing challenge. Okay. I just won a battle against the Russians. They're retreating the Tenopol, and I'm going to put uh, Reinhold on and attack them. The Bulg no, the Bul okay, okay. Bulgaria has already just flopped and died. Oh well, things can turn quickly. They've they've flopped and died. The Dalmatian puppet is getting bogged down fighting Austrian rebels. Perfect. Oh, great stuff. Bulgaria has lost the Romanian front. The absolute pathetic state of them. They really let me down. That's two speed for you. Yeah, you know what? I'm slowing it down. It's too fast. It's just too fast for me. We wipe some Russians. Oh, the Ruthenians are getting caught up here, but they're attacking me. I'm being attacked and my five attack is there. I need to go and help the Ruthenians. No, even, yeah, even Ruthenians are getting fucked up. The Bulgarian army is completely wiped. It's over. It's over. They have no army now. What a pathetic failure. How come they were doing so well and then you look the next second and they're suddenly just completely fucked? What? That's just a, such a ridiculous quick turn. Now it's the Ruthenians turn to fucking fail. Oh, 
Jesus Christ, another 36k. You know what? It might, we might have to call in the Germans at some point. We're getting that desperate. Okay, Ternopol, one chance to save the Ruthenian army. No, it's over. They're retreating to me. Very tense war, very, very tense war. We need to get out of here and attack them. Let's try and get the uh, Steery to escape. Mate, I need to command their army. I should have commanded their armies more. These guys have a four attack. Not bad. And this, three attack. Come with me, come with me, lads. Actually, let's attack them in Lvov, or Lviv, as they say nowadays. Let's hit them. The best defense is offense. Right, I've got boys coming down here to win the Romanian front. Just got to go around wiping them with my five attack, that's the plan. There's too many of them. There's too many of them. It's over. We're going to have to do the unthinkable and call the Germans in. It's just, it's just too many of them. Even the Austrians keep rebuilding shit as the AI always does. Yeah, look at this. For 78k, listen, it's Germany time. Play a hell march, blah, 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 lot. Play the hell march. Germany's coming in. Yeah? Are they? Yeah, they do. They do. They do. Okay, now get, get here. Got to escape. I don't think the four attack general is going to take over. I think I've skill issued. Oh, don't go there, actually. Just came in and Spud's already mad XD. What? Right, let's go here. How is the Romanian offensive doing? Very good, very good. The Germans are sweeping across into Russia. Time to lower some spending. We're almost almost 100k in debt, you know. Uh, we've gotten a great victory against them down here. Follow up. It's 1888. To me, it always seems like the time period is so short. Well, oh shit. My five attack general doesn't take over here and we're hitting a random 70k sack that came out of nowhere. This is the third session of playing this and it's going to go on even more because I play, I play the game slowly. One of the reasons for that is the short time period, I suppose. I like to take my time, as everyone knows. I need to take Stefan from Baden out of this battle to let my five attack take over. Yeah, 
You know, hence I'm playing on one speed right now. Is it wait, Stefan von Baden, that's the one. He's about to get wiped though. Because I'm sending him to a death trap. I need to give him more troops to retreat to that province. He can hold, he's a good friend. Don't add any war goals, please. Yeah. Now, if there's any war where we really fuck over Russia and I take war goals and we release Ukraine and we do all sorts of stuff, it could be this one. But it does mean relying on German AI. And, yeah, you know, my economy as well, along in the war. Let's just try and get out with uh, the stuff I want. Let's stick with that roll for a bit, cause them casualties. Ah, that's good. That's good. Okay, we won Lvov. We've done a good job here, and we were, we're kind of winning in uh, Ruthenia, but it was costly. Does AI add war goals past the war score limit? No, they might add them, but they don't take them, because they, the AI definitely does obey the 100 rule. Let's get a reinforced tick. Oh shit, there's 34k Russians running across my country. What do we do? This might have been one of the most fun wars we've had in this playthrough, actually. Really fun. Like, we held out against Russia and made some good moves for a while before we had to call Germany in. The Bulgarians and the Ruthenians were doing so well, but then they just failed eventually. Wholesome war. Yeah, very wholesome. Very, very wholesome. Okay, you will need to get a reinforced tick. The Germans are doing exactly what I wanted them to do against the Russians up there. Uh, tech ideas? How about... How about some fucking money and admin efficiency? Oh my god. The other puppet of the Ottomans has been released and has allied me. I'm, I need to give them to Romania. Not Romania, Bulgaria, sorry. You got out AI'd, but now you've out AI'd the area. That's, that's, sing that's how single player works. That's how you've got to play the game. Let's see what this reinforced tick does for me without any money. Couldn't be good, would it? That's terrible without money. Why couldn't my rump state puppets hold out against the entire Russian army? I'm disappointed. Mate, did you see how well they were actually doing? Come on. Did you see how well they were? They, they had a chance. The dream was there. You saw how well they were doing. Spud, please check money situation. I know. We're 150k in debt. We've been there before. The war won't take too much longer. Look at the war score. Oh, the Germans did add something. What did they fucking add? That answers someone's question, I suppose. They added Mergen again. They added Moravia. So yeah, the, the, the AI does add war goals, but they, they can't take over 100. Ever. So... I will take saves, and at whatever point Germany does peace out, if they don't peace out for the two things I want, then I will go back and revert and do that. Okay. The reason I want to wait before Germany actually pieces out is because I want to call the end to the war when we've officially won it, you know, because... Oh, shit. The time that Germany pieces out is when we've officially won it, basically. Because that's when the war score... You know what I mean? It's when the AI decides we've gotten enough war score to call it a day. We're facing some setbacks in Ruthenia again. The Germans have not come over here to reinforce this. Actually, they have. We're fine. 
Oh my god, this is Turkey decking on Mount Athos or something? They've decked on this Samu island. I don't I have no idea what that is. Uh retreat there. The Romanian front has done well. We've held. We kicked the Russians out of Bucharest and stuff like that. It's been good. Now they're attacking me. Oh, someone in the chat just mentioned football, by the way. There's been some uh, football going on these days. Quite a lot of football. There was a game today, actually, France beat Belgium. I didn't really... I just checked the score at some point. Didn't really watch it or anything. And then there was that England game yesterday. Absolutely heartbreaking for the Slovakians. A German, the German uh, fucking army group north and army group centre are pushing in. South is a bit more messy. But... Oh, army group south has arrived. They've sent a stack. My army is completely fucking depleted and damaged. Am I occupied? I'm too... Yeah, some of my most populous places are occupied due to the issues of the war. They're attacking Premisil, they're going over there. The Russians are going over there to fight the Germans. Okay, we have peace. We have peace and we have an invalid peace that I will revert. We have to go all the way back to March though. Germany took Moravia. Okay, nice. That is officially the war over. We did it on the 24th of March, which means we have to revert quite a bit. We're going to see if we can keep fighting for like a week or two before Germany officially pieces. Okay, they're doing it instantly now. Okay, they're taking the piss. All right, they're taking the piss. We have to go in and do the peace instantly then. I don't know why they chose to do it immediately there on the 1st of March, but they originally did it on the 24th, but that was a good war. That was a good war. Now, um, don't look. So we go, click on this, take off Marin, send that which they would not accept. For, fu for fuck's sake. Um... I just take the extra step of accepting it and then we tag back to ban and we fucking demobilize and defund the army oh we didn't get it we didn't f oh, what oh my god bullshit's happening why didn't I get current oh my god oh Jesus fucking Christ what happened there why? Why is the AI returning shit when there's no cores involved anyway, mate? Oh my god. Okay, how do we do it? Horvat and Kant and Steiermark. I have no cores. Why would it revert to cores? Hop to Russia, send the peace deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Offer. What if I separately piece Banat out and let Germany keep taking Moravia? Nah, fuck that. Germany wouldn't accept that. But they would accept 154? Everything's fucked, ladies and gentlemen. Right, let's offer that. Does this give me everything? No. Oh. Oh my god, how do we fucking do this one, guys? How do we fucking... 
How do we do it? I think we actually do separate pieces by that here. Yeah. Can do that. No, I have to offer it as Russia then beyond by that. What we're doing, we're going again. Then we go ban and then we accept. And now we have it. And Germany can, they can take Moravia for all I care. They can add something on Russia. Go on. Have some fun. Knock yourselves out, lads. And then we defund and already were demobilized somehow. How was that the case? Did the AI control my country at all? They, they surely didn't have time. How come? Oh, I, I never mobilized in the first place. Oh. So, everything's fine. Yeah, yeah, I know. We need to reload to fix the AI. I know, I know. That's a new save. Then we go back and blah, blah, blah. And we'll play a bit longer. Okay, all is fine. Everything's healthy. Next target, the Ottomans. That was actually a good war. Shame it had to end that way, but that is to be expected when it's one of the AI Germany wars. And we gained some uh, wholesome new land. We've now got proper Austrian land. I've taken this enclave. Has it been renamed? No, how for that? Still there. And I cannot rename anything myself. What the fuck happened to Bulgaria? Don't worry about it. What are those super chats, by the way? We haven't had any since the wave at the start. Come on. Support the channel today. Join the membership. I would greatly appreciate that. So let's continue getting rid of these stupid things called mobilized stacks. Abolish them from the army. Let's not bring multiplayer metas to single player. What the fuck is that? Slovakia. Crisis for Slovakia, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Germany did peace out for Moravia and they enclaved. Well, almost a really nice... Deutschland, but it's just Schlesien. So, what's that? Oh, it happened. Germany released Slovakia. Wow. There you go. Okay. I wish it could be one of my, uh, you know, spearlings, but Germany got this one. No worries, that guy. Don't worry about it. If there's any reason why you can't super chat, then don't. It's fine. No one has to. But I would greatly appreciate support from those who would like to. Okay, that's good. Very good stuff. Now, I would like to fund the army a little bit to repair it in case we have rebels. They could pop up anywhere. Uh, I do need to get an army ready in Venice in case they go over there, because that could be released quickly. My army took a beating. It was a brutal war, but it was good. Austria will puppet release Galicia and Bohemia after a few months. Looking forward to it. This chat is super. There you go. One super chat equals one more accepted culture in Banat. I'm seeing all talk and no action. We're almost a great power again, by the way, and, you know, at this point, do we accept becoming a great power from now on? I think at this point we do allow it when it happens soon. I think now is the time to be okay with being a great power, definitely. And Germany will have cores on you. Well, it's over. 
That's not good. They're going to get Super Germany basically now, are they? Okay, okay. This monster that we've created in Germany may come, come and be our eventual arch nemesis. I did hand them Super Germany, and you know what? They got Super Germany, even though I limited them so much, and there were like three wars where I gave them nothing, and they still got it. I'll super chat when I get a job after uni. Okay, I'll hold you to that. Alright. So those rebels did nothing. Mobilization size plus one percent put us up like twenty mobs. What pops does Slovakia accept? Slovak and Czech. Interestingly enough. And they though they have a core on Ruthenia, controversial. And they do have the cultural union to form Czechoslovakia. Good luck in your exam, that guy. Is this exam season for everyone? Loan interest minus 0.2%. Surely this will help my economy. Break season now, it's July. Yeah, exactly. What part of Scotland are you from, Spud? I'm originally from the northeast. Okay, right. What's our next move? Uh, furnaces. I have a lot of family in Prathshire. Okay, that's a nice place. Actually, I've never really been around Prathshire. I've been in Perth a few times, but not Prathshire. So... Someone in the chat predicted that you know a thing will happen to Bohemia and all that. I'm waiting for it. I'm not saying it won't happen. I'm hoping it doesn't happen. I don't want this Germany to become too gross for my liking. But you know maybe I think Austria-Hungary might be dissolved considering its situation. It's a bit late for the season, but uh, most of my peers finished in June. But it's the way we have it. Defending my thesis. Good luck. Yeah, good luck with that. Well, you you won't need it though. You won't need the luck, because you've done all the preparation and the work, haven't you? Rebels in Russia, are they falling apart and becoming a, a basket case now? Only time will tell. When is the truce of the Ottomans up? Well, it's up now, and I can easily go in. Bulgaria's own truce is in 1890, though. Hmm. I don't need Bulgaria to actually be in the war. Um, I dissolve my alliance with that. I just want to give that to Bulgaria itself. I wonder how I do that. Maybe annex it? I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Friendship ended with Germany? Not yet. But if they form a, a Grossdeutschland and get cores on me, then it's pretty shaky. 
By the way, where are those super chats and those memberships? We've got to see them. Uh, upper German, ugh, fucking upper German patriots. Can't let it happen. Send in the five attack. Will you release Karistan or Israel as LARP? Balfour Declaration hasn't been taken yet. No, I, I can't be bothered. I'm only going as far as the Balkans. It's a side quest. My main targets are over here. And as a matter of fact, my next target really should be Italy if I'm going after my accepted pops. And I can really paint the map over in North Italy for all these accepted pops I have. Huge amounts of accepted pops. Austria is over, you know. Take capital on them would be a good thing to do, but this region is okay, but real good pops are in Italy now for me. And I don't want to immediately go into another war because of the economic situation, you know. Oh, that'll be one of the benefits if I'm ever out of Germany's sphere and become a great power. Economy will probably be completely fine. The three unorganized regiments in Austria are preparing for their role as the ghosts of Vienna. It's true, and it could happen if some bullshit happens with Austria where they get annexed or something. Possible. But that thing that that guy predicted has not happened, I'm just saying, but, you know, I'm jinxing it and it probably will happen. Spud, did you give out loans? Yes. Why? Why do you ask? America's the one that's really going into debt. No, it's not. It's, uh, it's Portugal. Portugal, Slovenia, nil-nil, half-time. Okay. Okay. Just to check who is interested in Banat Ballers. Oh my god, what? Which country did that? Fuck's sake. Which country did that? A foreign power's medal in the affairs of Bosnia. There's, there's our cliffhanger everyone because I cannot beat Bothered. Make puppet on them. I'll have to remake the puppet on Bosnia. You can eat it now. If my goal was to eat it, I would have done that. I want it to be my puppet. But with this bullshit with countries breaking puppets out of my puppet status, it really defeats the purpose of it. Because it's just so annoying. And it just does not incentivize having puppets. And it just incentivizes annexing the land. Alright, so we'll leave it there for today. This Banat playthrough is going to go on a lot longer because it's going so well. Brilliant stuff. So, uh, anyone got any last minute cheeky super chats, my members? You would need to be a GP and have your puppets in your sphere. Exactly, that's where we're going. The next war or two, you know, we'll get there. We'll become a great power probably. Paris next stream. You know, France is a fucking easy target now. I just call Germany in. I say they're an easy target. They're mobilized on 668 brigades, but yeah, they are. Really, what they've mobilized to fight fucking Kanem, Bornu, Sultan, and the Dagaragaram. What's the point? But yeah, I just call Germany in and I get them to give me some state in the south of France. Like get Provence. Actually, no, no, maybe not because those are not so French accepted pop. Maybe something in the north. Oh, actually, I could go after Belgium. How about that? We'll, we'll talk about it on the next stream, though. Talk about it. Uh, thank you, Stalker. We got our Huff. We got our Hungarians. Our Hungarian Florence for the last minute super chat. Beautiful. Thank you. Okay, well, that was a fun one. And thank you, everyone, for your super chats throughout the stream and the memberships. And for being here, chatting, engaging. It was very fun. You know the drill about this being a VOD later. It's going to be privated, unlisted and all that now. Alright, that's it. 
Great, great stream. Ah, beautiful. Great. So, future content. Next stream of this is probably going to be later in the week. Maybe, you know, Thursday, Friday, maybe Saturday. Depends on my plans. I'll have some plans, so I don't know. It's a lot more difficult for me to give you a real proper schedule of these streams because I, I have various plans and things to do. But I can guarantee it will be in a few days. And it will be up as a pre-stream, you know, for hours before it starts. So you should get some notice of it. And then when it does happen, it will be announced on Discord, on Twitter, on a community post. You know, I put out all the adverts that I can. Martian lad. Uh, yeah, you too. Have a lovely rest of your day, everyone, as well. Have a lovely week, everyone. Haiti can accept Polish and most African cultures and form the Commonwealth and DGC. Okay, tell you what, that's a great idea. And you know, earlier, Worm said that he played Haiti, or someone said, with the uh, the crazy combat mod, and he beat France as Haiti and all this shit. So I'm thinking, you know, a great playthrough. Maybe we should play Haiti sometime. I think... Yeah, I think Haiti's a playthrough. I'm th I'm thinking it's gonna be a it's gonna be a crazy challenge, you know. You got a plus fifteen defense, general. Yeah, go to Poland. We go to Africa. We get all sorts of LARP. But that's for the future. We're gonna continue with Banat for a few more sessions. It's going really well. Having fun and next Bavaria episode. Lord, I don't know. It's it might be a big, big episode, so it could take some time. Okay, just keep that in mind. But you know, part twenty-eight just came out. Watch it if you haven't. Watch it again. Give it a like. And have a great week until I see you next for the next stream, everyone. Thank you so much. Bye, everyone.